Hello little turd. Hello batch, hello batch. Hello wheel push, hello iron. Hello control pump. Hello bombu, Mr. Chiefer, fish bumps. Cap Loman, MJ. Fish speed. Awesome, but they don't DLC. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. I yeah, aspire to um, <laughs> totally unexpected, but very cool. Uh, I don't, I don't expect it to be as good as this game on release, though, or even um, several months after. But yeah, I'm like optimistic. I don't think this game is this good because of uh, just because they got lucky, you know. So eventually it will be great but uh it may be 20 to d6 also yes i have to play this character now before it's deleted in spire 2 <laughs> exactly <laughs> by two tier list i mean uh necro by the s tier and then uh, you know i cut f tier and then silent i guess it's, it's quite good so silent A tier, Necrobinder S, and I cut F. Hello, White Tiger, have a good luck. Uh, yeah, Revelic in every single map with these options. I mean, there's a reason why we took Revelic every single map. <laughs> because Revelics are good. But um, now here's a problem. Like, this is actually a pretty big problem, yeah? Because uh, I don't think I have lost any Pocket Watch style on any character <laughs> ever since I started playing Spire like three years ago. So hopefully this run doesn't lose because um, yeah, that would be quite sad. <laughs> This is not as strong as P-Box Swap here, yeah, but it's honestly not that far off. So now I'm suddenly like, pressure to win. Uh, so how do I lose? Yeah, I run into this floor 6, burn the elite and die. Okay, so let's not do that. The um, This path will be one advanced hallway into fire elite, fire force shop. So three fires, two elites and a late shop. This is super early shot, and with pocket watch style, we don't need that, yeah? Let's just go for 3 fight here first, and if somehow we're overpowered, we can fight this. If not, then yeah, we go for the stable path, triple fire to elites. Every other run never lost when this happened? No, there are only a couple of things, especially on floor 1, yeah? There are only a, a few things, that is still, still true. <laughs> this is one of them. Of course, P-Box Pyramid Swap would be the others. Hello, Kenzie, then we'll go luck. Ah, yeah, Pocket Watch doesn't help you against this crap. I mean, it does, but it also doesn't. If this guy could have attacked her when we take 8 force. <laughs> Which is why uh, maybe running here is not the best idea, because sometimes you just don't have enough damage to kill Norman 3 turns anyway, even with this. And then uh, you get chipped down by these hallways, you go here and you just die. There's no safety fire at all. So you're giving up two fires for one elite, of course it's a burning. But uh, yeah, double fire and also a very big risk. So we, we need very 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 good reasons if I were to go here. Any house, tiny house uh, from pick? Yes. Tiny house from boss squad? No. Tiny house from boss squad has lost many times. <laughs> A tiny house from pick, um, it's like what, 9 runs in 3 years and all of them won. Hello, no, no. Uh, I play strike on left, yeah? Finding hits here is clean. Oh. Okay, so if this guy attacks 12, now it gets a little bit annoying. Doesn't. And because we have pocket watch, I'm willing to do this. Okay, finally, we can kill this one strike and can block this thing. Maybe take two here now. Yeah, so take two. But honestly, though, taking six damage in this fight on floor one 
is not the worst outcome. On Spy 2, very cool. Completely unexpected. But uh, I gave it maybe a year after release for it to be um, to become like, really good. I think at least uh, for me, I think that people who are like hype out of their minds that uh, on release date, this um, Spy 2 would be crazily good. Maybe they get surprised. Maybe they get uh, pleasantly surprised, but I think most of them would be disappointed. <laughs> and eventually, I trust Mega Crit to make it good. Yeah, never is. Thank you for the sub and 18 months. Special on. And hello, Rashi. Hello, Jason. Hello, Lunatics. Mm, interesting. Okay, so honestly though, I don't even know. Like, unless we get a North Potion, there's no reason to go here. Yeah? Even though now with the Glacier Pocket Watch, we probably just destroy sentries and like a bullion. <laughs> but also, there's no reason to take this risk. Unless the North Fight is actually free. Somehow. Don't know how, but maybe it can be free. Uh, well, Beam Cell is definitely not making it like so free, but it helps. But we are not fighting it. <laughs> oh, another fight. Actually, fine. Huh? Um, but now we have some low roll chances, yeah. But at least we have low support. Hello, Pali Chaka. The good luck. I should play Glacier here, and I will. Uh, one less damage, so the Glacier will block both, but if they draw Glacier, they will be full blocks, yeah? So they just, uh, maybe Zap or do a cast, but we can also triple defend. Hello, Amoso. I think I want triple Frost, like this. We play the same turn. Yeah, if he decides to buff, we can always kill in time, because, you know. Boot sequence, pocket watch, not the best combo. Tempest is fine. I mean, boot sequence is still fine, it's just not amazing, but... At the same time... It's, it's not as amazing as usual, yeah? But at the same time, it's that you block turn 1, and then... After turn 1, you have pocket watch every turn, and then you just win. But it helps you cheap on turn 1, um... It's like you can even float energy. You just play, let's say, boost sequence, defend, defend, you gain... Yeah, it's just suddenly plus 10 block and then it, you win. Also, uh, there's no other thing, it's like Tempest, but only if we are trying to fight this, I am not. This why it should be minus 0. No reason to be hasty, yeah? Play this fight slow and we never take damage. Zen pot? Ah, he's trying to bait me. Oh, you cannot bait me. Auto shields not needed, boost sequence glacier pocket watch. Um second beam cell not needed, so if anything here is barrage. And barrage glacier pocket watch is not so bad, yeah. We are not taking this bait because our upwards are also quite strong. And uh, yeah the north fight is not safe even though we are extremely healthy. Uh, Pocket Watch best trip, yeah. Like, if you click Revelic Start, this is what you want. I mean, I guess in some match you might want Incense Burn or whatever, but... Pocket Watch, you cannot, you can never complain. <laughs> it's like either the best or the second best. Like, maybe sometimes you say it's Helix, maybe sometimes you say it's like Burner. But, uh... 
Yeah, nothing else much to much at this. This thing just destroys that one and it never falls off. Crazily good. Oh, here's Glacier Barrage. This guy's all row 15, no? We can, of course, explosive pot if we need, yeah, but I don't think we need to. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's all row freaking 15, that's a bit rude. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, because none of them roll 14, because if 14 I can kill with Beam Seal and Triple Defend. You're actually taking damage. Wow, taking damage is like so cringe, man. Imagine taking damage with Pocket Watch start, like what the hell. <laughs> right now we're taking 6. And they don't even draw the dual cast yet, so that we can zap dual cast and maybe block that way. Uh, this is 8 damage, so yeah. Starting with Zap is certainly a choice, but if we Zap and it hits here, then everything sucks. I guess it's not that bad. If Zap hits here, then we can strike. Uh, beam Cell strike and then strike here, so we take 10. But yeah, that's too much. Triple block doesn't make sense, so we double block and strike, yeah? And that takes 6. Um, Regen port can happen. One chance right now is 40%. So regen pot right now is healing 12. But I guess 12 is fine. Yeah, we should not take any more damage from this point. West 100%? Yes. I hope it stays 100. <laughs> it's full blocks, right? It's block 17. 21, yeah, 21 even. Hello, Barry Cyclist. Hello, Matt. Remember luck? Yeah, we over here by 3, but that's fine. Phone chance 40, uh, I don't mind getting that. Uh, I hope I don't get better into using this crap. <laughs> oh, yeah, chill uh, with the barrage as well. I think barrage upgrades go first, yeah, goes before the beam cell. I can't see beam cell green being stronger into Nob though, and Nob is the only fight that we maybe respect a little bit. I guess like Lagavulian you can respect, because Barras gets triple debuff and then uh, we only deal damage with strikes, you know? Pantry you don't need to respect at all, I don't think. But the other two... actually not that easy. Neko twice as bad, twice as good? Nah, nah, it still improves the Neko, eh? it's just... Neko in the first place is something you need to be pretty careful before using. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. Uh, probably just beam cell then, yeah. yeah probably still just beam cell. Obvious. So, chill strike by rush. Uh, this fight is probably hitting us one big time, maybe even two. But we never die here from 6 before. Uh, can we kill him over 2 if I Glacier? Yeah, I Glacier full block here and next time we take a hit, but we can redraw like maybe Glacier... Beam Cell Barrage or something. And then the turn after it dies. Actually possible, right? And this is positive block. 
uh, it gains four passive and it loses eight total. So four and then four. Yeah, it's neutral, but it full blocks right now. Oh, I can double strike. If I double strike, uh, we break forward watch though. So there's no kill next one ever, and then yeah, not really. Because this also open glacier redraw to just block. Them. And because we have beam cell plus, I'm allowed to play this line. This is two damage off. Next turn, it always dies though, so we can take 24 and move on. Or we can snake oil now. <laughs> The coin now can screw things up really badly, but can also kill it. I guess even if it screw up things really badly, we don't actually die or anything, yeah? Even if every single card costs 3, we still do not die in this fight. And so I'm kind of building it. Yeah. I play Barrage first because I need to protect the Barrage cost, but now I can sneak oil and randomize this. Ah, 3 cost. Shame. We can uh, not... Actually, we can, we can. We can explosive pot now to kill. I strike here and then strike here and zap into explosive pot. It actually dies. Uh, probably do that. Yeah, because it secures double upgrades. And against sentries, we don't care too much. And this is only 10 reach against Laga. We fight two elites only. We just fought slam gang, so maybe this gremlin gang, but even gremlin gang, plus two relics, plus upgrade barrage, plus chill. Plus pocket watch, right? Should be fine. Uh, how much damage am I taking? If I'm trying to block next turn, I know for sure I have lethal, yeah, because this is four plus another nine, that's thirteen. So I play this one strike, and then I can spend the one energy to block. So defend dual cast. Uh, it goes to does it seven, right? So seven, I block ten, nineteen. So I'm taking eighteen. Okay, so support for eighteen should be worth. Huh? Capacitor versus go snap plus capacitor barrage and we already have um, recurring frost glacier with this pocket watch and now act is fairly safe we are fighting guardian oh yeah of course so we have wet barrage oh this barrage is going to pop off guys <laughs> look at our deck right here I really like it when uh, early barrage is uh, good, yeah? and so far it's done well. I don't key that, even though we have no potions now. Now I say that, but this barrage is not doing... I guess it's doing okay. Uh, take 2 or not. This is 1 lightning and 6 damage on this, and I kind of need this to die next turn. Hmm, sure. Eh, uh, maybe I don't actually need it to die. But it is dead. And now even if Joe will buff this turn, we don't really care. Okay, uh, this poor relic is suddenly half useless because we would like to preserve this until the end of the game. <laughs> Hello, Blur? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw the news. But I... Uh, probably two years. Probably two years away from good things. <laughs> but yeah, I do not expect it to be crazy good like on release. But we'll see. If I'm uh, pleasantly surprised, that's a good thing. Where's the effect? Yeah, the effect is dead. The effect is reincarnated as a, as a B. I cannot actually find the B effect emote, but you can see from the... Um, there's a footage of uh, the defect turning into an insect, yeah? <laughs> Bull landing plus, yeah, attack. Second beam cell not needed. Bull landing plus, um, still very, very strong damage. Also works well with Barrage and the Capacitor. How Spy 1 on release? Uh, I don't know. Like, you have to ask the older people here for that, right? Yeah, maybe Blur knows. 
But when I play, it was already kind of the final patch when I started playing. I, I started playing um, after 2.2 or something. After the silent got buff. Hmm. Well, I mean, I would have bought this. <laughs> um, no, in fact, I would actually have bought all of these if I have infinite gold, yeah? I mean, if you need this, of course we buy, but 1,000 gold, you would buy all three. We are poor, yeah, we are poor. So here's my score and here's the toolbox. Um, what do we want? This early on, probably buy a score, right? Um, also plays very well with what we already have in our deck. We have the capacitor also, yeah? So if you see the artifact from somewhere... You know, future shop relics, maybe even a panacea. And our scaling plan is done for most of the game until act 4. And this is also a very, very, very strong front load. This is strong front load, but this is also strong front load. And this conflicts a little bit with boost sequence pocket watch. Just a little bit, it's still very good. Uh, yeah, I just take the bicycle. It's cheaper too. I don't think I remove. Yeah, I, with the bias clock now, I would definitely like to have enough gold for like two shop to uh, you know buy artifact. How much gold are we gaining? Um, forty five and on twenty, so two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty, two hundred forty, maybe two hundred fifty if you're lucky. I can literally go and upgrade my capacitor. <laughs> or I can go to, you know, the question mark. I'm fighting the elite either way. I think capacitor is not the dumbest idea, you know. I mean, I have no number ideas. Because the question mark life loss is not exactly super cool either. Like, random upgrades, like, who cares? Random upgrades in this deck is not good. Uh, Serpent still empty. Scrap wolves, I guess, is good. And adventure is good. Mushrooms, good. Random fight is good. Uh, healing is wasted though. No? I guess healing pushes to like the banana pushes to 69 max HP, so that must be good. Golden Idol is fine but not needed. And I'm going by a scorch too, yes. Buying second barrage is funny. Honestly, it's not even terrible. But we can pick it for free too. Yeah, I probably just skip. Uh, if we have like fusion hammer or whatever after this, I could like capacitor to be green over my score. That much I know. My score upgrade would be stronger, um, short term, yeah. Like way stronger short term. Like in the entire act two is better. But yeah, we have pocket watch boost sequence on the top to sustain a little bit. So like glacial block wood damage. Potential buy plus. I do the greedy thing. Yeah, I do the greediest thing possible here. Because we are going to pick like small coast naps you know, and such. You know? We draw boost sequence. Probably good. Now damage is like no problem here. Cannot really play this beam cell. I uh, cannot really play this zap, but uh, that's fine. I definitely play the beam cell over the zap, yeah, because next turn we have like, a very strong open right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the lack of bullion. I mean, it's trying. It's trying its best. I do not laugh. That is 45 damage. <laughs> uh, next time we know for sure we draw into this, so we can have a turn with like bias cock laser and it's dead. Oh yeah, guarantee zero damage fight, but we know it would happen, yeah? This fight is very easy. All buying well, just after the shop is not too bad. Ah, baited. Oh, getting baited, guys. <laughs> Am I getting better? Oh, it's yellow. 
and green. And we have Beam Cell. I mean, it uh, breaks the Pocket Watcher, but Beam Cell is here. Go with the Ice would also be green. And pull back both sequence. I turn one, it doesn't. Turn one, we are not facing attack here. Yeah? And then we pocket watch. This is left behind, and then O4 one pulls it back. And O4 one with the beam cell is permanent vulnerable by Ras. And power was sure about No, no. Capacity plus I take worded for sure. If I take the thing, I would definitely take worded over a compile, but I like this O4 one. Without the capacity plus, yeah, sure. I take uh, compile driver. At Capacitor plus Varas, like, the code that also freaking deals damage. And Frost Generation, we have like one place here, but one is one place here alone, yeah, Chill goes away. So we cannot feel this Capacitor plus like, very fast. Yeah, it's green and yellow, like, how can we be bad, you know? Uh, Snackle Pocket Watch, are we in or not? Slightly weird, but probably still good. Yeah, probably still good. If we are fast on the snake core, it's not that bad, and then the, this is way stronger. Also, it's green in the 14, you know, it's not too bad. Yes, it's not so bad, guys, Scorpio. But no, really, look at this 14. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that, 14 damage. Pain wouldn't do that, but 14 can. Who cost cast? Uh, how worried to death is Neko? Okay, can do that after this. Like, it's quite fast. I think. Uh, this fight is, of course, zero damage. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter what I play here. Now, Compile is back, but he's not even being picked. Uh, he's not even being picked. Probably, right? It's like we don't need to streamline damage when we have Barras Capacitor. And streamline damage with the O4 is only happening in the 3rd cycle. Yeah, we don't care about 3rd cycle. On Power's back, we can also take Turbo. Turbo Pocket Watch with the O4 one not bad. But uh, maybe too many zero costs at the moment. But it can lead to very awkward turns when our draw is only Pocket Watch. It's like it's not active draw, yeah? It's an active draw, but I draw next turn and we don't have information before we choose to draw or not. So uh, now I can take the compound. Like it draws two pretty consistently. Also it's green, like we attack screen. Uh now we can upgrade by a scock. And also recall, but that's probably dumb. Yeah, draw two consistently, he said. Because uh, I don't think I'm allowed to place your compound here, we want to split next turn. <laughs> so let's just compound. Yeah, I definitely don't play that, so Zap Strike. And uh, Beam Cell Barrage can split. This can also split. Capacitor, Bull Lightning, Chill Barrage is splitting, right? It's 24, 34, yeah it is. I think I want to keep the Frost around longer. Ah, that's not even true, we have freaking Glacier. So evoking this early before block is stable, and then... In order to block a little bit front load, and then we have everything else. It'll be good. I almost misclicked it, it would be quite sad. <laughs> Hello, Akko. Then we go luck. Yeah, now we get to do a pocket watch, and we draw into Glacier, and then everything is easy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. It's only one damage. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking that was 16, but it's only 14. But yeah, don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't worry about it. I tell you. Oh yeah, it's only one damage and like two. So unfortunately, it is real HP. All I think is dealing damage, but at the same time, I don't care, yeah? I just want to play Glacier and then call it a day. Eh, 
and imagine taking damage to this Guardian. Oh, that is like Ultra Twins, no? Electro, yeah, sure. By Spark Plus, Barrage, Bow Lightning. There's also Rainbow with Capacitor and Compound, yeah? Uh, if you if you want something like like one dark off for the champ, but at the same time it's not needed. Yeah, if we face champ like Capacitor Barrage with O for one Perma Vaughn, we should do fine. And otherwise, that one dark off is not worth that much. And I mean, yeah, this is still good. Um. Oh, that's annoying. Oh yeah, I can do tier list first. <laughs> because this screen is a little bit annoying, I need to think about it. Okay, tier maker. I uh... I'm 10. How overrated. Opus cards. I would think all. Uh, maybe change the name of, tier, of the tiers a little bit to give more context. Uh, this is a. Uh... I mean, it it translates into the letters anyway. It's like very overrated, and then sometimes overrated. <laughs> yeah, it's just the letters. Never mind. Uh, Peace Strike actually probably is one of the few two costs properly evaluated with Sneko. If anything, um, if you're playing Peace Strike and you see Sneko, you're over the moon, yeah? Because that's one of the easiest way for you to convert a peace strike run. So peace strike would say pretty properly evaluated, maybe slightly underrated even sometimes. Let's see at least start with S in the I... Yeah, where does the S thing start from actually? I mean, I have seen it in many, many, many games, yeah, but. Where does this actually come from? That S rank is above like A. Yeah, where did this actually come from in the first place? That oh, doesn't matter. Uh, close line. Well, close line. Once again, if anything, maybe slightly underrated. Probably exactly proper though. The so close line is like right in the middle. Japanese arcade, yeah, okay. Uh, heavy blade, yeah, heavy blade, mm, pretty overrated, but not like so offensive. It's still fine. <laughs> Avocado is, yeah, probably properly evaluated, so is that right here? I guess I should only have five tiers, yeah? Uh, so okay, I can delete F. Because I want B to be exactly average. Uh, is this two cost plus? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Blood for blood? Mm, it's pretty bad, actually. Like, this thing doesn't... I mean, it discounts on the same hand, yeah? so you can still discount with, uh, with uh, brutality or like, bloodletting. But otherwise, it's just like a cut that deals damage. And in the redraw, the redraw, so you have a cut that deals 18. It's a worse carnage. And uh, people see this with Snack Call, they a lot of people are like over the moon for some reason, I don't know why. Uh Dark Embrace, yeah. I mean okay, sure, let's be fair. <laughs> let's le let let's be a little bit more fair and put it here where it should be. But uh with Snack Call, this is actually not super necessary yeah, unless you already have the Corruption, in which case you freaking win, yeah, because you have Corruption Snack Core. 
Or you are your idea, you have some idea to like second win, exhaust down, then yeah, then it's still good. But blind picking dark embrace too cost when you have Sneko and you have like short term problems, you know, it's how you die. And later on the draw is not as necessary because you already have the Sneko. Uh Bash is start to cut, so you cannot pick this. I mean you can mirror it, but why would you? you know? So I don't really care about this. Flame Barrier, probably also probably rated, like you just click this card. Yeah, you just click. Mash and Keep? Yeah, yeah, who cares, like, whatever. If you want to care about that, yeah, you do you, I don't care. <laughs> and Trends, yeah, um, if anything, maybe slightly underrated. Um, this potential and Trends thing. But if, if it's underrated, it's not by much. I don't think people just refuse to pick this without barricade though. Which is not how it should be, yeah? But that applies to normal as well, even without Sneko. But this card is fine, and with the Sneko, you also don't even need the upgrade anymore. Honestly, because of that, maybe I pull it slightly here, like slightly underrated. Saving Blow, well, Saving Blow should have its own tier actually. No, this is color sucks. <laughs> uh, what color should Shading Blow be? Maybe gray. I mean, if you want to do this, yeah, I cannot stop you. So, uh, that is personal choice. Also, adding a card that embrace low is Neko extra draw. Do you want to spend half your turn to play this? When the payoff is not even there. Like, of course, when it's good, it's still good, yeah, but like, you pick this up speculatively or even when it's like, mediocre. Uh, for example, you have, I don't know, like, one, two, red or a burning pack or whatever, and then you pick this up because it says two, it says dark embrace. Yeah, you die. <laughs> I mean, you don't always die, but it's bad. And the late game payoff is no longer even the insanely mustard thing than it normally does eh, in when your deck uh, gets together got a 50 and with the uh, summon six months special lot when do i drop and change your okay do i mean give you give me the run i can tell you yes or no <laughs> but if you ask like this question yeah sometimes <laughs> i will say that i will pick it when it's good so where we server soul uh, I think people still think this is bad even with Sneko and yes, that would be correct. It's slightly better than usual, but yeah. I think the reaction is fair. Right like here. And is probably also like properly rated. Shockwave is probably properly rated in the sense that you see Shockwave, you click Shockwave. That is the same without Sneko. So it doesn't really matter. It's, here. <laughs> it's like exactly the middle. In fire, well, also properly written. Everybody knows this freaking busted. Oh, like, no overrate, underrate, or anything here. You see, feed fire with Neko, you click. Barricade also roughly the same. I think people underestimate this thing's power a little bit, yeah, but with Neko, they do just click. And that's how it should work. Wizard of God, thank you the uh, sub and 10 months special lot. Zago not well unfortunately this thing is overrated as hell just because it's fun. With Sneko, like it's not good. It still sucks. <laughs> In fact with Sneko, now here's the thing with Sneko, is that your um, Your damage concerns are actually like almost no longer a thing, yeah. The biggest concern you have with Sneko is how to block mm, first cycle the heart or the boss gauntlet. First cycle spear and shield, first cycle heart and boss gauntlet. Or you have like very high burst damage, you can kill spear and shield. This thing does not give you anything meaningful. But uh, yeah, it says two, and then it's uh, any good animation, and you get better into this, and you realize that every single hand you draw this, you don't want to play it because you want to play a block card instead. 
Oh, what's up, my dude? Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, amazing card you see with Neko you already click. I mean, even these, uh, this is mediocre, but it's just positive with Neko usually, so just keep clicking. You see, barrier, yeah, you can just keep clicking, because with Neko is good. Until maybe I don't even know, like, 4 flame barrier is it too much? Maybe it's not even too much. I have definitely had 3 flame barriers with Neko, and they do just fine, you just play it. Uh, oh, emulate on overrated slightly, but not that much. So maybe it's here. Reaper, yeah, exactly where it should be. Maybe people underrate this a little bit, I don't know. Bludgeon is where it should be, like... Yeah, yeah. I honestly, I like Bludgeon with Neko a lot more than some people would. Yeah. This is... Of course it's good. But I think it's actually fairly important for... If your run is not overpowered to have a card like this. So that you have a different plan in case blocking does not work out. I I see pretty often like, people face this situation where they have snack core, yeah? And the deck is looking like all good cards. And here comes the bludgeon when they think that they have enough damage and they don't pick it up. And then later on in Act 4 they suffer. Because they're good enough damage is only good enough on I don't know. Turn 4, turn 5, and uh, they go very low after the first cycle of their heart. They cannot kill it in 3 cycles, and they die. This gives you a... different plan. This gives you a different plan, and that's pretty valuable. And yeah, these are... Honestly, a lot of snack core cards are like, properly evaluated, so... Most of these will be in B. Like, Demon Form, you also true here. You just click. Corruption, yeah, exactly. Like, this is best... One of the best psycho cards in the entire game. Like, please click it and people do. <laughs> so there's no reason to put this anywhere else. Uh, streamline, yeah, slightly overrated. It's okay though. I don't even know whether people actually overrate this, yeah? Because it does not get rerolled. Maybe they even underrate this. Because like, you don't have this potential of discounting the uh, load damage, especially... Yeah, follow damage on defect, especially with Sneko, is like super, super important. So in Act 1, Act 2, you might just need this. Of course, it cannot be your damage plan for the end game as usual. Like you discount to zero, you just draw to your deck, add draw, add energy, maybe add recycle. So it doesn't work. Ah, maybe it should be here. It's like some people would be here, some people would be here. On average, probably like still in the middle. Uh, where are we now? The uh, glacier. Well, glacier is exactly where it should be. You click. <laughs> uh, Doom and Gloom. Maybe people do overpick this a little bit. First copy is still very good, but it also depends. Because yeah, the defects problem in Act 4 to solve yeah, is not exactly there with this card. And with Neko, you do have like a lot of pressure entering Act 4. Like the pressure is higher than normal when you're playing Snackle Defect into Act 4. So it's not exactly what you want in your endgame deck. It is still strong, but don't overpick this thing. Uh, what's next? Consume. Ah, oh, Consume's underrated as hell. Um, with and without Snackle. So there is consume, does consume have the honor of being like here? I mean probably not because people are like monkeys or they see two here, they probably lean slightly more towards this. So maybe they luck out into picking it. Just because it says two. <laughs> but it's very underrated this thing. Uh, Thunder, yeah, exactly what it should be. It's good. Honestly, this is good even in Act 4 because it, yeah, it's kind of like a bludgeon. It does the bludgeon's job in Act 4 for you. And early on, of course, it's amazing. In any AOE fight, this thing is insane with Neko. <laughs> Kills the target and gives you 3 freaking energy. Like, crazy. Uh, Force Field, honestly, slightly underrated, I would say. Maybe, but only slightly. It's minimum a leap plus, but um, 
Your snack codex I only have with hard time playing some powers, you know, like playing setup heavy. And here's the thing that offers you fat not blocks in the turn you're playing power because yeah, it's still discount in your hand. So when you draw this force field with one power, you can play the power in this case discounted by one, and maybe that gives you it buys you enough time. And even in the reshuffle after you lose all your power, still blocks tails. It's not so bad. Or it's slightly underrated. Yeah, because if you consider the each character's problems when they have Sneko respectively, yeah, then the value of cards go up or down. Now, I plan doesn't actually have any problem with Sneko, which is why cards are basically where they are. But the effect has a lot of problem with Sneko. So you need to evaluate cards uh, more carefully. Instead of just, okay, this card good, I click. Equi is that go slightly underrated, I would say, because a lot of people have seen this question too many times. Yeah? Like so many people ask me whether Equi is good with Snakeo or not, because they see that okay, I retain a couple of three cards and everything sucks. It's only better you play Equi every single turn. If you have two Equi stack, yeah, okay, that's why it sucks. But the first one still very positive. First of all, you have a dense block card which covers for a lot of your problems and it still lines up combo pieces, which is harder with Sneko. And uh, yeah, sometimes you have like Echo 4 meters swipe, you're high rolling and then this thing is doing amazing. So it's slightly underrated but not very much. Uh, buffer is where it should be, you click. O for one slightly overrated but at the same time it's very good. But yeah, don't overpick this thing. It's the same game as Doom and Gloom. Like exceptional Sneko card, but don't overpick. Because again, you're having act for a problem and this thing does not solve your act for problems. If you pick the first copy is completely fine. Like please plus pick yeah, please pick first of one with Sneko, it's just good. But if you uh, pick the second or the third one and suddenly it gets fishy. So slightly under overrated but not very much. Uh, where are we? Like here, your hyper beam. Probably also slightly overrated. Because once again, like most of the pressure when you're playing Snack the effect is in Act 4. Oh, Miss Fusion, okay. Uh, where the hell is Fusion? Yeah, Fusion's here. Fusion, yeah, slightly underrated if anything. Energy scaling, and it uh, already. Snack Core, the most annoying thing about this, yeah, is that. Okay, it gets two annoying things in Sneko Souls both. Like, it costs two and it needs a draw. And it pays off one turn later, but uh, Sneko recovers that. And yeah, uh, it's kind of like Fusion Plus, and with the uh, Sneko you can use energy always. Even on the Evoke turn. So this thing has uh, a good payoff. Uh, Thunder Strike. Now, I don't know how people read this. I would imagine it's here, and then you just... Don't. Sometimes you do, but when you do, it's probably pretty clear. But your people's normal reaction to this is probably still just skipping. Which is how it should be. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, meteor right exactly where it should be. You just click, card is broken. Uh, echo form, same story. You just click, card is broken. Rainbow... I don't know, Rainbow can go either direction, so I probably just put it in the middle. It can be overrated, can be underrated. Depending on how your run is it. So this is like my context. It is this context. Uh Creative AI is definitely like top tier. I mean maybe not top top tier, but it's definitely at least here. It's probably here though. Because once again, yeah, your biggest problem with Stecko usually is that your freaking front load block is not there. You simply cannot block front load and you already have like damage like crazy, you have... Uh... And you cannot stay that long in a fight. At least you don't want to. And here's the creative AI which, you know, first of all, the creative AI itself is random, yeah? And then it forces you to spend... If you want to play powers, it's mediocre powers. You have to spend one energy on each power and then the echo form is a good one but it costs three and then your entire turn ends. It basically takes way too long and uh, you don't need this kind of scaling with Sneko very often. 
Of course, sometimes it's still, it's still, desperation is fine, but like, with Nico, you have other problems to solve, you know. Yeah, at least, yeah, uh, that's how overrated cards are. <laughs> And yeah, sometimes you cannot play like Storm or Discharge or whatever and then your reshuffle is bad and you reshuffle faster with Snackgo, yeah? Should I should uh, copy this bottom? I mean, I will be a pretty big defender because uh, there are way more situations than the AI, the creative AI haters would say that you need to pick this to not die. But uh, please do not be monkey uh, C3 pick 3. <laughs> because the fight will not develop as you think. Yeah? Uh, so where are we? Electro, well, probably where it should be is good. And people usually know the second copy is not so good. Sometimes you do one second copy, but you're not very often. In the small part, creative, it's not that small, but yeah, it's it's maybe like only one third of the cast problem. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes sometimes it does bail you out. Uh, Riddle with holes, yeah, probably where it should be. You just don't click. <laughs> you don't click, and then you move on. Island doesn't even have that many hook calls. Uh, Creeping Cloud. Uh, if anything, underrated slightly. But probably also middle, you just click this. You click uh, to. You click Cloud until you have position quick. That's about it. It also opens a catalyst. And with Neko Silent, you can, you know. Reduce pressure in the hard fight. It's a very very good thing because once again silent also has the same problem as defect Actually silent problem with Neko is slightly different than from defect Defect has a lot of problem with flat load block with Neko, yeah But silence problem is more scaling block Like you want to do the hard fight with Neko and very often you find yourself your, your defense and blocking seven uh, Five or seven even with the footwork And then none of your other cards actually block more than this number and then you take a bit of death to, for every card, you cannot even play that many with a snack go. Uh, and then you die. <laughs> Final snack go usually is not that good because, exactly because of that. You, your card pool does not have enough things for you to consistently block the heart. I mean, of course, Nightmare Red Form is like there, yeah? But you don't always have that. Next three, you are probably exactly where it should be. You click. A uh, good card, mm, people click, you should click. <laughs> Eviscerous Neko. Oh yeah, Eviscerous should also be its own tier. Uh, you want to deal with this nonsense, yeah, you do you. So, um, what's next? The dash. Well, that's probably also where it should be. You keep click clicking this until, you know, the 10 damage is irrelevant and then you stop. It's like Abu, 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 yes. In fact, you can even Abu, Abu, it multiple times. If it's just worse kind of no, look at the, look at the link right there. <laughs> if it's a rest of special cut. Yeah, this array is a very special card. Let's put it that way. Uh, Bouncing Flash. Maybe slightly overrated, but not by that much. It's still not very good with Neko. It is, however, performing in the hard fight. And Time Eater. And these are the... Yeah, super ultra annoying fight with Neko as well. Because, yeah, you cannot block by spamming cards. I mean, of course, with Neko, you want high impact cards, yeah, but Silent is something that does not have this. You have still have to rely on like the bullet time or whatever to block, and then everything sucks. Like Nightmare, bullet time, but you don't have high impact cards like Slack Sweep. And this thing helps there, but people pick this 
in pretty bad spots, I would say. Because I see Sneko and they picked this thing that deals damage and they... Uh... Yeah, they see that when they play, it doesn't actually deal damage. <laughs> it deals damage three turns later. But it doesn't deal damage immediately and then uh, they die. Slightly overrated, but still it's solid. Just need to know when to pick. Choke with anything slightly underrated, yeah, this thing. It deals a lot of damage. One of the better damage comes with Snack Core, yeah, so combo super well with like Bullet Time, Nightmare, and whatever. And it's a, it's a card that deals damage while allowing to block. Finisher, yeah, you must actually spend all your energy on offense before Finisher actually does something decent. But this thing you can play it and then you play all block cards, you know, and then your turn is still fine damage wise. And you do this and do damage yeah, to time it to under hard, otherwise you don't get out. And it combos with some of the stronger things as well. And the base number is not even bad, you know, it's like 15, 18, whatever, like how bad is that? Uh, Predator... Probably where it should be. I don't think people overpick this just because it says two. I mean, first copy is still good. Maybe second copy is still good. But I don't think people actually overpick this card. It's fine. Uh, see, well, it depends on who you ask. So I will just put it in the middle. Some people would be here. Some people would be here. But it's probably right in the middle. I don't overcorrect. Shadow of Scat Spam? Yeah, you wish you can Shadow of Scat Spam. Also, you don't need Cut Code on Code Spam for this to be good. <laughs> That's the problem. People do always expect yeah, you play one card and you deal like 100. You yeah, don't expect that. You play one card and it deals 30. Yeah, it's totally fine. If you every single card you play it deals 30, you have already won the run. <laughs> you do not need a card to deal 100 damage with one play to be good. Which is exactly my point. Is that which is why it should be here? Yeah, because people just don't pick this. Hey, please pick this. If you're lacking damage, please do. It is good damage. A very very good damage, in fact. Even strip artifact yeah, for your end game problems like act for piercing wheel. You cannot block the heart. So now you are totally relying on face taking big hit into piercing wheel multi hit. Yeah, here's chop for you. Wham, one effect gone. Um, so where are we? Bullet time, yeah. Exactly where it should be. Broken. Keep clicking this. How many bullet times? Too many. Yeah, I don't know. Because I have had a deck uh, with four bullet times with Snackle and it's still like barely enough. <laughs> so how many is too many? No idea. I guess when you're drawing multiple bullet times on the same turn consistently, yeah, maybe it's time to stop. But otherwise, uh, keep clicking. Good. Uh, Nightmare... Oh, Nightmare is actually... I will say Nightmare is overrated. People do not understand... They do not, not understand, but people do not actually foresee this problem when they think that, okay, I have Nightmare, therefore it's big for Sneko. Like, please realize, guys, first of all, yeah, this thing works on turn later. And what happens with Sneko when you, the run is bad? You're getting cheap at the same turn, and then you just cheap, 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 and then you die with your freaking silent. Number two, uh, you do not actually get to choose uh, which is a zero cost you nightmare. I mean, of course, it's positive, yeah, very positive, but like, please do not think that because you have a nightmare, suddenly your deck is a good snack or deck. <laughs> I see this way, way, way too often. In fact, you can even go, if you are familiar with like Slay the Commands on Reddit or whatever, yeah, you can go back to the silent run. And you see uh, people talk about like, this Nightmare Sneko thing, like it's so insane. And then you see how it plays out in Act 2. <laughs> it's good, but yeah, please do not trust your run on it, because it will, it will not save you when you need it the most. But of course, it's very good. Um, platform, uh, exactly where it should be. You click. And thousand cuts. 
honestly slightly underrated exactly the same idea as a choke it's worse than a choke for sure but it is also underpicked like yeah damage scaling with neko not the worst thing and you have you have more problem in oe fights if you don't have this thing because suddenly now like distributing damage to the minion is way more difficult while also making progress on the main target and blocking and this thing like puts a lot less pressure into your run against a collector automaton for example even retromancer and the uh, yeah long super long fight the time meter the hardest also deal is not too bad damage is fine uh what's next sticky try I don't think people will underrate this. It's good, yeah? it's very good. I don't think it's underrated, so probably it's like in the middle. Oh yeah, Sneaky Strike, no matter how much it costs, it still refunds you to energy. So you can consistently activate it's one of the Honestly one of the best Nick will cast on silent. Uh yeah, that's all for silent. And here's colorless. And a grid well oh yeah <laughs> oh please don't freaking buy head of grid because you have stack go like edac 2 like that is not how you do it oh wait i miss envenom right wait why the hell is envenom here envenom yeah it's uh, some people is here some people is here it's a probably put in the middle it's solid for some reason, but also bad for some reason, right? Usually when people miss everybody, they only see one side, no? But it's fine. Damage scaling, ships, artifact, open catalyst. It's, uh, but yeah, it also has a lot of problems. It's okay. Apotheosis, well, probably where it should be, like, insanely strong. Ridiculously strong, but with Neko... Another thing, uh, something maybe not mentioned too often with Neko, yeah, is that you want... You want to improve your worst cards, if possible. Which is why something like Footwork or whatever is, is like, so freaking good. Because you want, uh, no matter what snack or row zero, you want your turn to be a good turn. So when your defense and strikes are green, suddenly, even if your very good cast are expensive, but your strikes are defense are zero, your turn is still completely fine. And the apple gives you that, like, no matter what is row zero, okay, that's not true, that's not strictly true, of course, but. Very often, even if your garbage cards get row zero, your turn is still completely okay. And you do draw into this faster, you also don't need to upgrade it. Uh, so what's next? Mayhem, the bomb. I don't know how what people think of Mayhem, so I just put it in the middle. <laughs> I have no idea what people think. Like some people pick this for, pick this for fun, other people skip. I guess if you always skip, then it's slightly underrated because this definitely should be picked sometimes, yeah. Especially if it's free. <laughs> no Byron, but probably here is fine. Uh, the bomb. If anything, slightly underrated, but only slightly. Uh, it's, it's it's weird because a uh, good player is probably underrated slightly and then bad player is probably overrated slightly. It's the same situation as like Venom really because normally this is a quote unquote bad card. So like good players know it's a bad card so they don't pick and then bad players don't know it's a bad card so they just click. Ah, uh, maybe it's just here. Uh, Crystalis and Metamorphosis, well, I mean, they say random, so in very niche case, you, it saves your run, but yeah, normally where there should be, like, complete garbage. And people do skip. Magnetism. 
I mean, I would also like to make an old tier for this, like the cringe tier, but... Objectively speaking, I would say at least like, pretty under look. Honestly, it should actually be here even. Like, completely uh, overlooked card. Maybe not if people are aware of this, like, the stalling thing, yeah? But even without the stall, it's still very, very positive. When you need help with Snake the most. A world record? No, 17 would be a world record. Current record is 16. <laughs> so we're aiming for a world record plus 4 right here. Oh yeah, this thing, the effect is actually very positive in Act 4. Like, please do not uh, think this only for stalling, yeah? It's actually a good card. <laughs> If you can play it, and with Snackle you can play it, and you also need the help from the random card, it will cost more. Uh, so that's all the color Let's... Oh, Mind Blast. Oh, Mind Blast probably where it should be. If anything, maybe slightly underrated, but probably not. And then Watcher... Well, of where it should be, you click. Swivel, well, probably also where it should be. You do click this, but you need to be a little bit careful, yeah? Also, makes, uh, this this actually makes your cycle run very cringe, but you need to remember cost before playing Swivel. Like, when you're playing Watcher, you expect to be brain off, especially with Snackle, yeah? You want to be brain off. And here's a card that forces you to remember it, like, three or four card costs like, before you play it. Like, that's pretty cringe. That is fine, like Swivel is positive, usually. Which Heaven... I don't know, do people underpick this or not with Neko? Because it's still good, yeah, it's just, uh, it puts the true violence, like, the zero cost is negated, but still pretty solid damage. I don't think people suddenly just skip this because uh, Rich Heaven got zero or anything, so it should be here. Rich Heaven's bad? Well, maybe I should put this here then, if uh, somebody already say this is bad, yeah. Because you still pick this card. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing. You like, let me adjust my tier list in real time. <laughs> nah, but probably it's right in the middle. Like, first copy is still good. And if you pick more than one, you're okay. Now it becomes bad. Yes, we're watching stream. Wait, wait, unbanned first, so that I can uh, talk. But uh, um, being disabled, stream watching stream being disabled uh, after being banned is uh, settings is chosen by the streamer. So yes, I explicitly said that uh, to be true <laughs> because uh, certain people actually just annoy me in DMs after they I ban them. So uh, this is my way to tell them, yeah, please fuck off. And <laughs> do not come back. Because I do not unban. And yeah, um, where are we? Signature move, well, probably where it should be. Like, you just don't click this because you draw major attacks and all done a random cost, yeah? Uh, study, well, study Stecco is not exactly ideal, and I think people know this. Normal study is underrated for sure, but study with Stecco is probably where it should be. Uh, Windmill Strike may be underrated slightly, I would say. With the Stecco, it's worse than, just worse than sand, yeah? But... What sense is still what you need sometimes. And you always keep this card, up, you are definitely underrating this with Neko. But sometimes this is what you need, that you don't have extra insane defensive scaling. So you already spend your entire turn just to play some, you know, protect, uh, wall up, I don't know. Uh, deceive reality and then you can never deal damage. But this thing is here, and it waits patiently. Until you have a free turn and you can unleash it for... 
40 50 damage or something and then you can redraw into it back and it deals a lot uh we'll kick maybe slightly unoverrated but it's mostly fine yeah you just kind of click this with neko it's okay you can overpick this for sure, you're like picking 2 or 3 group kicks, even 2 sometimes fishy, picking 3 is definitely too much. But it's okay, you keep clicking, it's not like super wrong or anything. Still deals a ton of damage, so people things just die, you know, and if things die, you don't, you have to, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. If you play wheel kick, the fight is over. As a time, probably where it should be, it's good with Neko, yeah, people know this. Maybe slightly overrated as a normal version, but with Neko... Yeah, if you don't have enough damage, like, please click. It's good. Uh, worship well, probably mega overrated, but probably not like as bad as this. Yeah, it's just uh, you. It costs two. You play this two times. You enter divinity. Therefore, your turn must be good. Yeah, guess what? You need to play it two times. <laughs> And play this two times not so easy, you know. It's not uh, it's not so free as if uh, you can suddenly just sacrifice a half a turn to play this in the first in the first time you see it. Where right, yeah, with Neko, every single energy is, is is precious, and then you need to wait until you redraw to this again, and then play it again. And then uh, fasting, uh, fasting with Neko is really weird. So probably where it should be, but I do think people just skip with Neko, yeah, and they would be correct uh, very often. Energy with Neko is like super super precious, which funnily enough is where uh, maybe I have a pretty controversial placement like coming up next <laughs> when I talk about how important energy is. Yeah, spoilers a lot is freaking Deva for, but um, omniscience, yeah, exactly where it should be. You click like complete S tier mustard card. <laughs> one again, one of the best possible stick will cast in the entire game, and uh, more copies are better. Yeah, so you just keep clicking. <laughs> like uh, this thing is OP. <laughs> and spirit shield, well, underrated slightly. It's actually crazy, like normal spirit shield is already underrated as hell, yeah? And here's Neko spirit shield. It blocks plus 6 or plus 8, and it doesn't even cost 2, yeah? And people still don't pick this card. Because they have like this idea in their head that, okay, this card is quote-unquote bad. <laughs> even regular spirit shield can save your run sometimes, and this thing with Neko is actually good, like very good. But somehow people don't pick. A lot of people just, uh, or they have the bird tier list in their head, and this thing is never picked, therefore they never pick. <laughs> but yeah, it is a, it is a very... It's the Sneko card, you know, it's like... No, not the Sneko card, but Sneko is a relic that's made for this. <laughs> Super good, please pick. Uh, the Wish, well, slightly overrated, but only slightly, I don't think it's... High enough to be like together with these. It's solid. You click and you get value out of the yeah, meta scaling, even inside the fight, like three strength, whatever, still very strong. Uh, the vault, yeah, many people know how good this is. So, Deva Form, yeah, a lot of people would think that uh, Deva Form with Snack was uh, some insanely overpowered combo. It is strong. But again, like, it's not a problem, yeah? Especially with Watcher. It's the... It's honestly pretty similar to Defect. Is that how do you die with Neko and Watcher? You don't die because of multiple battles in a row, yeah? You die because you have one battle early. Because your deck has so insanely high output. After a couple of turns. That everything just dies, your damage is ridiculous. And here's a Deva form that on the turn you draw it and doesn't do anything. The turn after you give you plus one energy, so it's kind of like you spend... 
basically it's only becoming good after two turns and that is way too long in a run that's like a little bit tighter but people usually say okay they have form snack coil best the best because uh, you know energy is so freaking good and it costs three and then you draw and do it faster and then everything 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 but they don't actually watch the fight that they play <laughs> Because this thing is not doing nearly as much as you might think, yeah? Of course it's still good. If you need scaling, uh, like your deck is somewhat mediocre... But you have fun node block. And yeah, you are lacking scaling, you're dying in boss gauntlet, whatever, yeah, okay, pick this. It's good. But otherwise, don't overpick just because, you know, you think this is so insane with Neko. It's the same situation as Nightmare. It's a very good card with Neko. But it's not as good as people might think, yeah? Hello, Rebel. Uh, where are we? Protect. Well, if anything protects, maybe slightly underrated, but probably where it should be. With Neko, I mean, even if it, this cost 3 is still fine, yeah? sometimes, in early game. And you only pick this for early game anyway, so... Unless it's green. If it's green, then you can pick it for later, but otherwise it's only for early game. And early game, even when this cost 3, is not actually that bad. With Sneko. Because it gives you choice. And with Sneko, you want choices. Ragnarok, well... It's like good, but uh, some people do overpick this a little bit, but uh, it's probably fine. Because uh, your de when your damage is already more than enough, just you need to cover other things. You need to cover block, uh, you need to cover... Maybe consistency, more draw, whatever, more energy. And this is only damage. It is a lot of damage, but it's only damage. And unlike... Um, it it's like your yeah, bludgeon... I say people, some people underpick Bludgeon because you might need this kind of thing in Act 4 if your run is not going that well, but Watcher doesn't need this kind of thing very often. Uh, you have a million other cards that also deal a million other damage. Uh, you don't need this one big card to do your thing, but it's still fine. Hello, Captain, name with the red. Um, so where are we? Like, lesson learn. Uh, if any direction this can go is underrated, it's the same as Apotheosis. Better. <laughs> Sometimes it's worse actually because it doesn't give you energy discount, yeah? But it's very good and I think people know this is good. But the team, yeah, how overrated cast I was stack course or lower would be uh, more underrated. And higher would be more overrated. That's alright, they don't miss anything now. Yeah, probably fine. Alpha and Alpha is an Omega, I don't really care about that. Otherwise, you also need to deal with X cost or whatever crap. Okay, let's play the run. Because we have a pretty difficult boss relic screen right here. Huh? And the run is super strong with Pocket Watch, and we have like sustain, we have like scaling, we have output or whatever, but now here's an annoying screen. <laughs> Because uh, yeah, of one choker is not exactly the combo of the edges. And we also have more pressure to act for like this. And Pocket Watch is less pressure for the short term. It's not even folding off or anything, but yes, early game it is stronger. Relatively speaking. So if we have problem in this run, maybe it's later. We don't need the force energy that badly, yeah? Because uh, if you want pocket watch turn one, usually we don't even spend for energy. Inserter with barrage is a thing, but Kafas the plus is already in the thing uh, in the deck, and we don't feel orbs that quickly. I mean, Inserter opens up like consume or whatever better. Of course, we pick like defrag or whatever if we have any. But that's the thing, it's not a right now, it's just greedy. 
Uh, but the tiny house is not giving you a, a potion either, yeah? It's like 5 max HP, you can't run upgrade. The upgrade is mediocre, whereas all the attacks are already green, like the good power is already green. A good upgrade would be this, and maybe this, and maybe one of the energy cut, uh, energy reduction. But yeah, upgrading chill is actually quite bad here with the boost sequence. Maybe it's not that bad, but it's not good. And we don't have the potion. Probably never tiny house, but it's just between inserter and choker. Oh, this choker is so much pressure later. The inserter is a lot of pressure right now. We have boost sequence and we have a lot of gold and we have only top though. But I think risk now is better than risk later right? with mm, this in the current one. And uh, Pocket Watch in Act 2 hallways is still fine and mostly in Elise that we have problems. But against the Elise, Electro, maybe you can deal with the 2 of 3. And then we have um, Barrage against the Boost Tapping with Beam Cell. Boost Tapping would be a problem, but Bias Cock Plus also helps a lot. Yeah, it's probably Inserter. A slightly annoying act too. Yeah, especially into this craft. <laughs> but I mean, let's have Electro. So definitely want to scout early shop for potential artifact. We can choose between these. Small bank is only 24 more. Um, 24, 1, 2, actually 36 more gold. So we currently have uh, 304. If we take 2 fights, we have 230. Which is enough to buy any rare relic. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> what? Okay, that's pretty rare. Yeah? I don't know how likely this happens, but we have exactly one fire in the act maximum. And it's lit. And also it's guarded by the elites. Yeah? You can see, yeah? you want this fire, you have to fight this elite or this elite. You want this fire, you have to fight this elite and this elite. Hmm, interesting. We do have some sustain, but we are also playing the inserter in um, this act here. I mean, no matter what, we start here because we need the freaking shop. So let's start here first and evaluate a gate whether we go here or here. Okay, baseball. Ah, yeah, yes, bias cock, uh, electro immediately. Electro is more damage than bar uh, ball lightning, right? Because we can also barrage it. Oh, yeah, master speed, okay, watch, yes. Oh yeah, here's Ophan pulling back boost sequence. Uh, do I need to pocket watch now or not? Because if I do not pocket watch now, we can deal... We cannot uh, do the thing, yeah? So it's like 4... So 8, uh, 22... 22 plus 21, 43... And next turn, this would be 16... 18, no, 18, 39, 39... Plus uh, another 22, 61. We are 10 off. Uh, if I just off one boost sequence, defend, for example, take forward watch, full block. Then we deal 14, 21, 35, 35 is a 36. And this is 18 next turn, we know we draw everything. Ah, that's just better, yeah, but Rust kills. So just, just full block. Is it on one? Don't know whether it's a good thing or not, but it's fine. Well, that's a very good first cut. However, we don't have any fire in this arc. <laughs> we do not have a fire to upgrade that until very late into the act. But uh, you know, it's something. So second fight to open this question mark path and also go threshold, yeah. Uh, it's probably fine. Point change now is 50. First, we have Electro. And Barrage, if we want. I 
attacking tool. I guess go out with it, but probably not. Uh, defects better than Barras, right? Yeah, it is. So now I can kill immediately in this other one again. Probably good. Which has 40 coded with tech. Players plus to go with our off frost and compound driver. But we can also just take another actual frost because right now our frost is only chill, not recurring, and then recurring frost is only glacier, yeah. I mean, to be fair, this chaos with the Barras is like pretty cool, though. It's cool with Compound Driver, it's cool with Barras, it's cool with Capacitor. And it can give us Plasma... When we have freaking 10 off source and Plasma, that's the boss relic. <laughs> because that Plasma is never going away. Ah... Ah, uh, it's just difficult, though, because it's not, um... Like when I'm trying to set up to block a fire, it's like I don't want to know whether I want to bet on the chaos or not. Instead, I can even know if the fact is in play, I can just play with it and it guarantees I have one frost. And then uh, the turn after the fight is under control, I can redraw into it and it always gives frost. And in this kind of act, mm, I think playing more stable is better because we don't have rest uh, until we fight the elite. Oh, by the way, the moment I go left here, I'm forced into at least one elite, yeah? That should be fine. Hello, Mob. It was a sub in 11 months. Special one. Frost. Essence versus upgrade. Upgrade right now, the frag is plus one focus, and electro upgrade is pretty big. Uh, upgrade Zap will cast with 0 for 1. Yeah, probably upgrade potion is better. Oh, blind Basra. Can remove, but yeah, blind with the 0 for 1, very good. Basra with our damage being uh, half physical, not too bad, and Barrage plus as well. Beam cell Barrage with a lot of orbs. Half of damage would be lightning damage with the other half is physical. Uh, I can remove actually if I do this and remove I have one gold and with one gold it means that cleric does not show up yeah I do like cleric not showing up removing strike here slightly weird because we do take bites though removing defend move sequence is okay but it's slightly fishy because the uh <laughs> only block we have in our deck after the boost sequence is just a glacier but yeah it's glacier alone is blocking one turn and then we have the frag and we can block like another turn i need to insert the choker in a uh, tiny house skip this or why cannot break no absolutely not first of all there's not a second shop here and secondly we have big risk in act two after picking inserter so of course i will spend go It sings, yeah, for later, not for now. I mean, I can also buy the stack, but probably not. Because Boosie could exhaust, so on turn 2, it only still block maybe 5 or 6 only. Turn 3, it blocks a lot, but turn 3 could only be too late. Removing Zap and Electro is just kind of strange, yeah? Uh, and the Barrage as well. The Red and Choker? No, it means that I think that it's better this run. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I, I see you see Do not make sweeping statements. That is not how you think about spire. It's like this is also how you arrive at like all the arguments in this in Papa's chat, yeah? Because you think in extreme terms, like things must be black or white, but in spire that's never it's almost never true. Yeah, I think inserter because I think inserter is better in this run. And that is all. Full stop. Like do not uh, Think anything beyond that. If you want to know exactly my reason, yeah, I watch back the vote and I will explain why I think maybe the inserter is a better pick here. But yeah, do not uh, make sweeping statement. That's exactly how you stay better in Spire. And removing Zavis is so freaking weird. 
not removing and accepting the cleric owns us sometimes is like something too, but I don't want to get owned. <laughs> I don't want to get owned by cleric. Uh, yeah, I remove defense. How bad is it? Hopefully not that bad. On returns, yeah, just squash to avoid. I will not spend like another 15 minutes to explain why I think that is the case. Yeah? But we'll just watch back the vote. Like, it's pretty recent. Like, please, this time I will tell you to watch the vote. Because if it's short to explain for me, I will say, I will tell it to you. Like, please just watch the vote. <laughs> if you want to know why. That's not the cleric. Uh, which transform can be upgraded cards? I guess we can Johnson strike now. And we see bites here. Yeah. Okay, we lose out on one remove a seal. We get a random card. That's only another defense max, like no sense here. Yeah. yeah, that's not good. I mean maybe that's not actually that bad though. Oh actually no no, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, this is actually fine. We can burst collector. Yeah, yeah, we can burst collector with Storm Electro by a Skog idea. No, oh, no, this is actually fine. Oh, man. What is this garbage? <laughs> Why are these garbage always showing up in the worst positions? Like, will we go here? No, Cleric. I guess Cleric would be slightly positive or removing because now we remove would only cost 75, yes. <sighs> Generally, yeah, yeah. It's, I haven't clicked left. Uh, I haven't clicked lift yet because uh, these are actually real. Which is annoying. <laughs> because I don't want to be real. I'm losing freaking uh, 24 current HP here. But these are very real because of uh, yeah, boost sequence cover turn 1 and then we just uh, actually we do glass cannon ideas here with storm bias cock electro barrage and that works uh, all the way until maybe act 4 but in act 4 we have game this rule cover a little bit and we have sustained on it after cover a little bit i say no toxic egg no uh, don't care What I consider so hard, Seri Pay? No. If I have a Seri Pay, click leave instantly. <laughs> but currently I don't. And I do have a boost sequence. Man, uh, in such a uh, operation is so freaking bad though. It's such a terrible combo. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's like bad in a lot of fights. Especially with my defect not being green, yeah? So blocking, trying to store out after operations are gone is not super easy. Oh, I don't have the energy to play like my Scott Electro operation in the same turn. But I mean, it can be something like this, yeah? It's like boost sequence turn 1. We pocket watch into triple operation. We play triple operation and pocket watch redraw into our actual damage. If it happens that way, uh, delaying electro in like leader or slave uh, sometimes. How bad is it? Delaying bias call is also quite bad. We don't have a hologram. And in the collector, I would imagine this is not very good. I have at most two upgrades in this arc and one of them definitely goes on the frag. Cover front load instead of cover scaling? Uh, no, because I my max HP cover front load. <laughs> I want I already talked about this the other day, yeah. Is I uh, my max HP cover front load much better than operations because operations I need to draw. But my max HP I don't need to draw. So I cannot fail me in act 4. I mean it can, but it needs to fill me in both fights. Apparition fills me in one fight, I die. <laughs> and I so so have a few 10 yeah, from this.
Uh, I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Like losing 20 whatever current... Yeah, losing uh, 29 current... With like no fire at all and all the assassins on the doctor is fishy as hell. Because music was nice and all, music doesn't full block turn one, you know. It blocks okay, but it doesn't actually full block. Like slaver coming 34, music block 10, yeah. Work. Nice. <laughs> and honestly, if we, if we when we draw chill uh, by a cock, the slaver fight is done anyway. We just full block with our vision. And Electro by a Skog also just kind of kills them. And yeah, against both Starbank is not very good, against the leader is terrible. The operations. I mean, I shouldn't say terrible, but it's not very great. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. How did you later? My good luck. Do we fight this or not? I think I do. Slightly risky because this is triple advanced hallway. Yeah. Oh, we need to fight Burning Elite. But um, we are currently full HP with two potions. Bone chance 40%. Can I have 40 HP when I pick? Yes. If I don't lose so much current HP, I would probably pick them because I think they are fairly close. But right now, I can just use this HP to get me to Act 2. Hopefully. And then uh, later, way of operation is not even super high. Yeah? So if the operations are clearly making my act 2 better, I would pick them, but otherwise I don't. Hello, VM. The leader. Actually, attack stone 1. Oh yeah, operation if you don't draw here, will take uh, 8 damage. We can upgrade potion with potion chance 40, this blocks 3 and it heals and then gives us 1 focus. Yeah, upgrade potion, uh, defract boost sequence barrage. I can also play by Skog immediately to, but if she attacks turn one, I think we can hold. Especially good defract plus. Uh, damage against the uh, this thing. I guess we have electro, but this shield can shield here. Yeah, maybe it's still fine. He always buff this turn, but he has Electro. Uh, how's Capacitor? There was like another play Storm Electro, one more Lightning. The four Lightning would kill this and guarantee kill this next turn, while also having the Storm in place so the Bias Cock becomes stronger. We don't always draw chill first next turn. Oh, but the Inserter comes in, so even cool headed into chill and doesn't kill wizard instantly and get two frost. Yeah, it's just better, yeah. Storm into Electro. She doesn't always attack this turn either. She does though. But here's a blind. Uh bottom decking most chill and glacier is pretty bad, so hopefully this could draw into one of them. Put it first, yeah. Okay. I guess we take damage. Yeah, operations will be good here. <laughs> yes, operations will be good here, guys. 50 50 minions are like slightly higher because you cannot buff again. So it's slightly higher than 50 50. How much am I taking? Honestly, not even that much. I'm taking 10. Yeah, I guess I take 10. Ow. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, I think she's freaking dead. But oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Is that on zero? Yeah, I don't care. No potion, more chance run us 50. Tori is fine. 
second chill attack or do I attack the hologram instead? Second chill with barrage on three base energy, um, but a bunch of things I need to play. Yeah, very energy stuff, right? It's just good. Also into collector. Ah, and here's our device plus, which I take. Well, we have sustain now, so we can keep farming. I don't think I want to run to burning slavers potentially, though, but maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe burning book is scarier. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, we take a lot here, we fat load, but we have bite, so we just buy back. <laughs> so I think strength will be slightly annoying, actually slightly annoying this time. And now we just buy her to full. Only take three bites, so it's not too not too bad. I think I won instead of one. Strength book must be book in this run. I would say probably strength book is worse. Not this, no, no. That's why uh, Spire is like so freaking good yeah? because in this run, I think strength book is clearly worse. With our uh, blind Tory. 0 for 1. Max HP, yeah, okay, whatever. If we get Purple Wick, it doesn't even deal damage. But the Strength Book will get through this. And we don't kill it that fast. Yeah, this is why Spire is so nice, right? But uh, whatever sweeping statement you can make, it usually is just wrong. Because I say this all the time, guys, yeah, that Max HP is scarier than Strength. Uh, this run is like, I don't think it's actually close. There's another one. one. We always run to the barrage next turn, so yeah, it's just dead. If I play this, it dies immediately, so I shouldn't. Oh, flex barrage. I like flex barrage. Rebound plus, if anything, what are we rebounding? The glacier, the blind, maybe the off one, maybe recursion. There's nothing for recursion. There's a stack, but probably still not good. If anything, maybe rebound. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I mean, rebound is slightly better. Wood pocket was than hologram, but still, it's not that great. It's kind of okay, though. Better on turn one, however. Is there a problem if it's a better on turn one? Maybe not. It's probably fine. I don't want to draw rank 4 though, that badly. And we have bites plus now, so we, the short term is like cover, yeah, all these fights. Ah, maybe not, yeah, maybe not. Let's kill, yeah, it's tight. Don't think there's any reason to just force this burning elite right now. Considering actually we have like bites insert to uh, defract plus or whatever, maybe even see a core search after this act. And this does not make me stronger into collector at all, yeah. But actually we have a lot of control with buy plus sustain insert or maybe energy relic defract. So the risk at the moment is still short term like this exact one fight. Let's just go farm some more fights. And yeah, cards are good too. I'm playing with Transformers straight into it and then see bites two floors later. So, uh. <laughs> I mean, the storm is not actually bad here, yeah, but. 
if I knew I would transform like Zap into it. Transforming Zap into a storm would be uh, the ideal outcome. Echo, you no problem. Redrawing this is fine. It's not good, it's not bad. It's okay. Now oh, we have Isa to deal with this. And bites. Eventually, we pass the block 30. Yeah? Keyword on eventually. Ah, oh, just a block 15 now. Instead on one, I think it's still good. Considering we have double chill against slavers into potential big barrage immediately. And of course, we can choose. Huh? This is gonna never deal damage. to be green another power with storm and yeah we have two upgrades for the track loop and with the uh, bites we should be able to make two upgrades oh yeah don't mind this too much maybe too many powers no not enough front load but at the same time we do have pocket watch game let's roof like four and with the bites you can just take like 40 damage to speed and shield and then heal to full after you yeah? know that's probably still okay I mean, blocking beat of death is blocking beat of death, you know. Now, uh, this guy does not attack into a boot sequence. Which I don't know whether it's a good thing or not. But we'll see. Uh, I'm griefing myself, I'm picking bronze scale here, hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not. Seven. It's still weakened. Next another seven. Oh, I should have. Oh, wrong order. Ah. Ah, wrong order. Didn't play attacks because I want... I need, I need this guy to have HP for me to buy so full. <laughs> but yeah, wrong order. I definitely should have buy it first and then evoke the lightning. Ah, freaking boss skills when it's griefing. Maybe it's not that bad. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. Ah, uh, we are missing 2 HP here though. Because I did not draw second buy. Uh, is this because? Yeah, it actually is because of that. Wow. Wow, so, uh, playing... Not playing uh, the Lightning Evoke first cost me this 2 HP, yeah? Because otherwise, this would be on uh, 16. And 16 means I can buy it into... Triple Bronze Scale when it's at 1. So that's minus 2, because I did not play the uh, Evoke first. Oh, well, you know, what can you do? It's already done. So we have to settle off with this. Hologram probably still good. So yeah, trouble something here, yeah? Uh we don't need potions against this elite, right? Yeah, we simply do not need the potion against this elite, yeah? Because tossing away flex spot makes the fight a lot riskier. Against like most level and most stabbing, but most stabbing we have bronze scale totally. But this ancient potion is insane. But as cock plus, we know what effect inside yet. And even if we do not use it to negate the uh, 
But it's got a negative first cycle, the heart, vulnerable. And with 44 max HP, yes, we need to f we need a freaking way to block the first big hit, 67. Surely, yeah. Uh, surely buy is strong enough. Yeah, it's only both stabbing. 24, yes, yeah, so I love 24. And I love loving 24 or just me? I love 24. Do we pocket watch now or not? If we pocket watch now, it's just uh, Boosie Guns chill and we try to block with Tori deal damage, bronze skill by Scott. Uh, if I play Cast, I would be able to play Perma Vulnerable. But no pocket watch next turn, so we can deal 21 and I don't have any focus down yet. Don't have the blind either. I think I pocket watch, yeah? I think I probably rush you. Ow. Well, I should not have broken watch. Because uh, we would have drawn a very nice turn. <laughs> yeah, a total misplay right here. We actually would have drawn like, an insane turn if I did not pocket watch. Oh, too late now. Uh, so we are still taking the full hit, but I guess that's fine because we have bias plus against the next one. Bite by bow lightning or do I triple bite? It's hologram block zero, yeah. So that's like complete nonsense. Not playing bow lightning is a lot of damage loss, but. Capacitor is not in place, so we can still fill full slot for Barrage, and we can block the next cycle entirely with the Bias Core. Let's just play Triple Buy, yeah? Like 15. And draw a blind, please. Thank you. Now, the annoying thing is that this blind does not last until... Oh, I'm forced to buy a cock here now. Oh, that's fine. Uh, this blind does not last until the... Um... The next multi. Uh, this is only big hit, yeah. Storm, Glacier Barrage, and Perfect Watch. I mean, I guess I can chill Barrage instead, but I, I should play Glacier. Oh, I cannot Barrage then. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing. <laughs> okay, I'm not throwing. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing. It is that uh, thing. Yeah, it is. But we don't get to bite. I can take one damage in order to get to bite. So like blind, chill for example, take one pocket watch or not pocket watch even. But yeah, probably you can pocket watch. And we draw one bite, we already get plus two, yeah? And we have five of them. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's take one. And yeah, now we draw bite, triple bite and kill. So that's plus 8, at least. Ah, actually, totally calculated, because you see, uh, if we play the Barrage... Yeah, if we actually play uh, Chill into Barrage, like, we would have killed the boost, that being, like, with two less fights. So we are just minus 6. <laughs> but I am on top of my game, so I know to not play the Barrage. Yes, let's go with that. Uh, Rainbow, if anything, but Rainbow is not exactly what I want in this spot. I don't even care with the Dark Orb. No Fission on Compound Rival, at the same time, we, uh, it's not relevant. Focus Potion. Uh. So this is 5 focus, but only after we, when we draw into this, we can lock Vulnerable. The other thing is always 2 focus immediately.
We are definitely allowed to upgrade, and upgrades is definitely on defrag. If we have to enter the collector fight with very low HP, I think I prefer artifact. And we are not planning the potion here yeah, unless we die, but then we can still use this. Yeah, let's give our defect pot. But by the way, only top right now is useless, but good thing we have the bites. <laughs> because I want to preserve all these potions until I fall. I will defect. And yeah, fight elite. Whatever, so we fight O3. Uh attack 15. This is 6 damage for 3 HP for us. We have double chill electro. There's no need to deal with this damage, yeah. So I play bite. Oh, and Tango is actually okay, kind of. And Tango is okay. We currently are taking one and we can pocket watch for next turn. Um, next turn we cannot play Barras, but we can buy a Skull Electro. So 22. Uh, then we have to enter the fight with 22, though. Because there's no way Electro does not kill them all. Oh yeah, not drawing Electro next turn is also like, maybe slightly annoying. And probably what's draw back into the bites faster too. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not. Also, the story is already blocked by 22 damage, yeah. Another one here where I don't play dual cast. I can play dual cast, so I will. Don't need to play Storm. And now, of course, the fight is done. Do I need to buy a Skog? I can also Electro. Electro Chio Bite, for example, only facing 27. Electro passive is um, 10, yeah? So we buy it here and kill. We chill full block. Trying to squeeze more buy in, but they're gonna backfire too. Ah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. We can buy it next turn. Uh, playing this chill doesn't have any value. We can move on it back. So let's just blind here. Hello, Kaiopola. I can get some bites, please, because they, before they die. Thank you. And next one is another one. Yeah, we can buy one more time, maybe to 31. And 31 is not bad at all. Yeah, I was ready to play from like 22, but uh, 31. Should be fairly safe. Don't need to play this like one. Okay, we draw the bite. Okay, we did draw the bite. One more strength. Then I think our return will go snap plus. Cross field we have two chill, one coded, and one glaze field. Uh, no echo form, yeah? So this our return into act 4 is blocking. <laughs> Around 20. I think it was the process of 6 months as well. For sure a lot. And Ghost Snap Plus is fairly strong with 11 damage. Uh, honestly our damage the, for the end game is basically just physical and bronze skill. A little bit of lightning but not too much. And we have 2 strength. Uh, yeah, without echo form, it's not blocking enough, yeah? It's just that, um, like, slightly worried that we find an... Okay, I'm not worried that we find echo form, I'm worried that we find an echo form after this act. 
and then act four we are still in never having the solution of unload block for cycle and then we just die but this is only good if we find specifically echo form yeah? otherwise it doesn't block enough on the other hand you're setting up cold staff and maybe uh, having two or seven focus for cycle can also be a block plan because we totally big hit and then the multi hit uh totally and multi hit and then big hit is only doing like 50 or so when we could all vulnerable is blocked yeah, like how bad is this really? Probably not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if you uh, if your entire turn just playing cold snap, like you just win. No, I mean we cannot play that many cold snap because uh, we don't have energy. <laughs> but <laughs> it's still true. You should go with echo farm. You don't get two stacks if that is what you're asking. You get double damage and the second stack is still real. So you kill with the second pr hit, uh, you do gain damage on the dagger. But yeah, you cannot get double damage. Yeah, yeah, Omni creates a fake copy. I echo form actually plays real card. And Omni creates a fake copy. And block 20 is not enough? No, it can be, but th at the same time, this is not even guaranteed to be on the block 20. And it does cause me some, maybe some problem in early act 3, and, but, and it, this is also not even bad, yeah? Because how the spear and shield fight goes, is that we kill one of them and then we buy the other one to full. But we need to kill one of them first. And this also blocks you a lot, you know, if you are playing like with these, like Frost Ops. We play Orange Dragon, do a wheel. Yeah, do a wheel. If you see a menu, then it also destroys like, the original copy. If you do not see a menu to select a card, like, so the Ritual Dagger is the only attack and power in your hand. Then, yeah, you make a real copy. And the real copy is on the left. I don't know, this algorithm is still like fine. It is a complete brick for collector, but are we worry about collector? With the fact plus loop, electro, and the bytes. Not worry, uh, not, not really, right? Recurring frost is only two, but we don't need that many recurring frost either. Yeah, maybe it's still algorithm, I don't know. This is so good though, but we can see it later. And it's not like urgent right now. Yeah, the wake, uh, yeah, it's rotating with no watcher for now. Yeah, maybe algorithm's still fine. And it opens the echo form out too. So. Okay, how dumb is it to upgrade this algorithm? <laughs> it's plus 10 block. Roughly plus 10. Here's a day, maybe it's the daily, but I don't think... I, I don't think that's good with the question. I, I have no idea about dailies either. <laughs> ah, plus 10 block is just the loop, yeah? But the loop, if we fail, if we see fusion hammer, then uh, we absolutely want the loop to be green. Yeah, yeah that's plus 10 fat load. Hmm? And this is a uh, loop plus, also helps a lot in the hard fight bit of death too. In the collector, this is also, of course, way better. I hope I don't die next turn. I'll go look, cover remaining five, so we are in act two. Yeah, we're in Act 2, so don't worry. Loop Chill Glacier... Evoke 1 Lightning... Should be fine. I can also Hollow Barrage right now. To kill 1 Dagger. But I think I want to Pocket Watch into the Fight Electro suit. Oh, she's attacking this one guaranteed, but we have forward watch. This turn we break forward watch probably. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, should be fine. Yeah, now Electro is in play. We have Steel to buy Spock. I can Storm into Electro to one more landing, but I think I want to keep my... Yeah, I think I want to keep my thing. Keep my Omega Cross. Yeah, should be fine. Or is six, you're no problem. Zero. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, thirty-two. Thirty-nine. Zero. Wow. Uh, four to get one, yeah? So we do... Who oh, block with the hollow? I mean, take one with Tori, but that's fine. We can also play Quidditch to actually full block. That's fine too. Forty six, no problem. You always draw into the blind here. Can buy a Spock right now, but at the same time, don't need to. You never attack next turn. Buff again, uh. buff again is slightly annoying, but at the same time it's okay. Yeah, she's at dead. 54, yeah, a bit annoying, at the same time it's completely fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 51. Yo, this turn. We double buy ideally. Single buy, I guess. Well, I mean, it is an echo form. And that creates a, a full block in Act 4, yeah? When we draw into it. Oh, we can get a sick. Sick for Bias Cock plus or Electro is quite powerful. But I just like Echo, yeah. Insert a bias as well, so we have time to set up. And yeah, capacity is definitely not. And this actually is probably blocking vulnerable now, if anything. For the hard fight. And not the bias cog. But if we draw a lot of frost off turn 1, we can still block with the bias cog. Well, here's Fusion Hammer. <laughs> Uh, Phylotone Tori, however, is something that is actually more considerable. But this hammer is mostly free. Yeah? Act 3 is first part thing we haven't recalled yet. We lose one upgrade in Act 4, and that's it. And that is it. Or oh, they have the Fact Plus, Capacitor Plus, Loop Plus, Echo Form for scaling. Any uh, attack comes screen, like over the Ice Plus, for example. Oh yeah, there's no way this Philo Stone is better than Fusion Hammer, right? Even with the Tori. Yeah, there's no way. Because uh, this also hurts a lot in Spear and Shield, yeah? And I would love to not like to be hurt in Spear and Shield. If I can. And we only have 41 to spend. We don't go lower than that. Uh, I do expect most of Act 3 to be trivial, but maybe Retromancer can be a problem. We can dodge every single fire looking, it looks like, so that's good. Can do early shop as well, yeah, sure. So start here, shop, and then, yeah, these, and then this. One, two, three elites, no fire at all. If we need a fire, we can still go to this fire with the fight. But with the buy plus, I don't expect us to need the fire. There's also one fight here to heal too. I need two, so facing seven. If I do uh, hologram, I'm facing one.
Oh wait, um, ah, maybe I'm stupid. Hopefully not. Oh, it probably works, right? Yeah, I think it probably works. Yeah, yeah, it should work. Sure, this is only five damage a turn. Yeah, it doesn't take. It doesn't kill them that quickly. I hope. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't kill them that quickly. So we can double our goal here. How many fights do I actually have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, 11. So it's one more than expected. I expect like 10 fights, but it's 11. Yeah. Sometimes I guess there's transient or whatever that you cannot double or you cannot even play your algorithm, but it's unlikely. Killing this one will be good, and killing this one is very easy. Well, Coast now is back, and we do tech, unless you want stack plus instead. The stack plus is pretty cool... Uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but only sometimes. Yeah, Coast now is still fine. Probably artifact of focus, right? Still. Yeah, probably. Ah, ah, okay. I take a short break and we talk about this. <laughs> but yeah, there's some fun things here. Here we back.
Uh, well, I don't say I missed something, but holy crap! <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Rainbow. For how many is that though? Let's say fifty-three. Right? Yeah, fifty-three gift subs. Insane. Appreciate a lot. And uh, animal companion. Thank you for the prime sub in two months. Appreciate a lot too. And here, um, yeah, we can make. We turn out three operations, yeah. We turn our uh, three operations, we can make one right now. It does return the chills, which are okay, and the mood sequence. Which is slightly annoying, but it's okay. Um, returning hologram is good. Returning slime is bad, but slime can just draw two with pocket watch, so we don't need to actually exhaust. I think you will die the sub. <laughs> Again, robots. Yeah, once in a while, robot just goes crazy. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we can make an apparition. The Centennial puzzle is slightly weaker because we have um, Pocket Watch. So it quote unquote only draws two cards on turn two. And another thing about the spoon is, is we have a second algorithm right here. Yeah? So we can have two apparitions. <laughs> and another one. Thank you, Rabot. Also, what the what do we have for BDTV? Like, it okay, feels decent. Feels defect. Yeah, feels defect man is good. This is a good import. <laughs> yeah, that's a good import. Uh, yeah, we probably just buy our rhythm spoon and farm for the rest of this side. Oh, of course we want the max five, but these are so we overlap, yeah. Because every fight now we can farm. Oh yeah, inserter also shining a little bit. I guess we have capacity to go form, so we don't need inserter. But the inserter every fight is like kind of stolable, and then we can just farm the algorithms until they stop. <laughs> and they are going to uh, give us a lot of block. And we have mice as well, yeah. So that is also. Uh, Stable line of play. A passive now just take damage so we can buy it up later to open stronger chills. Probably. And I think I do take pocket watch over playing this boost sequence to block. Even if I take 10 right now. a bit that's fine don't need to play loop now yeah i guess i can kill this thing immediately let me just do that check yeah okay let's check i mean i know i have the sub yeah. <laughs> i know for a fact i have the sub because the remote drifted me the other day I was just watching Chego stream and then suddenly Twitch sent me a freaking notification. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Actually, it's not even uh, Chego. Yeah, it was actually Python stream. Pretty funny. Take one. Oh, Echo Form still late. But we can control the fight easily with this. Next time I can echo from defrag, yeah? Don't need to actually double defrag in this fight to get it under... Uh... Okay, it's time to farm, guys. How long do this algorithm last? Because they can last like one time. Oh, they can come back and suddenly now we have a five. <laughs> And of course, we have full HP, yeah? Toss this. 
So if it doesn't want to be exhausted, then I guess it cannot... Cannot force it to be. When's the last time we bought spoon? Yeah, uh, two minutes ago. <laughs> but uh, the actual answer is I don't remember. We have perfect control here for sure. So hopefully these just stay here forever. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so far three out of three, yeah. So most of my algorithms are still alive. still above average so cannot complain too much but uh, I would like this one to be bigger the other one is already like respectable but this one is small that is fine nine is still a leap calipers no we can see calipers Why into one floor and suddenly your algorithm grows by uh, 16? At least 16. <laughs> and it was like, it was just one, it was blocking one, uh, two floors of your collector and now it blocks, it blocks 19. We are one floor into act three. Okay, two floors. But yeah, pretty insane. <laughs> hey, yeah, this is also the ideal fight to store. Like we never accidentally kill with bronze skill, we have perfect control. Uh Monka. <laughs> Thank you for another 20 robot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, it's still going. That's just food popping off, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> well, suddenly it's 27, yeah? We, when we started this fight, it was, what, 7, right? We started this fight at 7, and it's only 27, and it's still growing, it's still here. So we gain uh, 24 block minimum in this fight alone. So this, yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's an apparition. I might have been waiting to act for these would both be operations and we still have our max HP. <laughs> Thank you for another one, Rebel, for us. Uh, and another one as well. To uh, Zayton and Casco. <laughs> yeah, that's 400 all time. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, Thank you very much. Appreciate it a lot. I really do. Okay, it's gone. Uh, so we're gonna insert on one, yeah? Play Storm now, sure. Alright, uh, Electro Drone this turn is not good though. Actually, no, single Electro doesn't kill, right? Yeah, yeah, single electro is three lightning only, it doesn't kill. I can do it like this. Oh, wait. Oh, this electro is still doubled. Ah, it's fine like this. Ah, what? Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, that does not go against Darklings, yeah. Against Darklings, if your first cut kills, your echo form stack is still gone. Right, in normal fight, it, it works that way. If you thunder something, your echo form is still intact, but in Darklings, it doesn't work. 
<laughs> Thank you for another one, Robot. Why are you so right here? Like, I play Barras kill with one attack, but my second card is not doubled. It's uh, weird. And you also see the Pocket Watcher. I have played two cards. But it says three, because the Barras is actually still double play into, like, nothing. Yeah, they, they still... I they, These things are still around, basically. So we do have a target, and we waste a uh, card play. <laughs> yeah, another one, thank you. I play this now, yeah? So this thing is dead. And uh, this thing is also dead. Place here, yeah. Barrage Plus is nice and all, but we absolutely take this place here. Immediately travel to the boss. Wow. I uh, cannot farm this guy. But guys, good news. One way or another, we have a card that drops 31 in our hand. So we can play our echo form. One way or another. Uh, we can play the thing again, by the way, yeah? Cannot double Electro this way, though. I guess double Electro is still strong and double loop. No pocket watch next turn is scary, though. But it's fine, I have to deal with this. But yeah, apparently we actually needed all the scaling on this thing, yeah? Because it's full block two turns already against this fight. Am I allowed to double algorithm here? I mean, I would really like to. We would mean that I do not have Pokemon Watch again next turn. But this would block for 20... 20 and then 11, 19. So 39, 39, 45... Uh, no, 48. And we can buy it, so we take one. Watch this. Oh wait, let's open the... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... 31, 40, taking 7. Holy. <laughs> okay, Rebel, yeah? it's like... I mean, it's not the first time you do this, so... Um, I mean, I do expect that uh, you have this under control, yeah? But... Please don't waste your money too much. <laughs> Unless you actually can... Can do this, like, freely. I just thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. For <laughs> another 50. Uh, yeah, the last time we did it was on um, Christmas, like last year. <laughs> but yeah, that's insane. Like 7 in Pocket Watcher is better. You can buy to full steel after. <laughs> and now we can double by spell. With flying. <laughs> I mean, I chose full here over pocket watch, so maybe miss an algorithm here. But yeah, that's okay. Still get to double both, kind of. It's not that bad. Recursion plus, don't want, don't need. There's nothing you even recur, just frost or lightning. You can pull it back with 0 for 1, but yeah, irrelevant. Uh, Hello World, no ball lightning, no, so we skip. This is okay damage with Letter Burner a little bit, but at the same time, it's not what we need. Yeah? Second Barras is way stronger if we need more damage. It's also a common, and Barras always comes green. Uh, go with the ice plus. If we want to pick more zero cost of one, yeah, that also is better than this. Giant head. Ooh. Technically stallable. Is it 10 slots with 
uh, four focus, yeah. So sixty. Oh, it is. It is. And we have loot plus as well. So this is actually stolable. A flag of drawback. What's it now? Mm, do not forget. We have not even used a single potion for two eggs. <laughs> like one egg and a half. But yes, the deck would be nicer if we have uh, energy and card draw. Like, if we get into scheme and then sick or whatever, these are all amazing cards. But this cover for lack of draw is pretty well. Well, these would be full block the moment we draw into them uh, later on. So it's kind of like we have vaults. <laughs> we have one cost vaults here. Yeah, these are apparitions. Pretty good. Play Electro now so it doesn't bring me later. Or... Probably fine. And I'll go and bought it in the uh, in the same shop. Not being able to double this defrag is a little bit annoying, no, I would say. But trying to double this defrag is is it stupid or not? I mean it's not that bad, we can also buy it to full later. Yeah, I will I will be greedy. Yes, one skill never killed this for uh, accidentally. So we might take a big hit here or next turn, yeah? But I don't actually care. Spoon. Pass the first play. And here's a double loop. Also play blind. So we take a big hit here. Maybe take a big hit next turn, but the moment we draw into defect, the fight is done. And yes, we draw into defect. And we full up this thing forever now, right? 1, 2, 3, 9, 13, yeah, 78. So we can take our time. Yeah, it's now, now we can take our time. And hopefully this get returned. Ah, the small one just keep exhausting, yeah? The, the big one is eating the small one, guys. This one's exhausting like one time and this thing is just building up. Fine, this guy drop calipers anyway, and then uh, he just blocks a billion. I play Storm now, yeah, let's play Storm. Okay, everything exhausted, so now we buy to full and then get out, yeah. And we have that Nibs here, but Rasso damage is not slow either when we want to choose, yeah, when we choose to deal damage. Here in two turns. A little more, more appealing. Uh, this is one more chance to farm spoon algorithm now, but we'll see. Now, oh, this one I take, yeah. We have two strength, yeah. We have two strength in net, a million ops, and half of our damage is physical. I guess more than half at this point, but yeah, this thing is very strong. Ah, okay, here's a five. Farming this is a bit difficult, I would say. I mean, I can try. 
but it's not going to be very easy. Do I play Storm here or not? If we play Storm, then we actually have to get out, yeah? Now staying here to full block this thing is not going to really happen. I probably should play Storm. So I will. Returns. It doesn't need to hit 999. Like hitting smaller is already bad enough. And yeah, this also exhausts immediately. But that's probably fine. And still try, eh? we have one hour to month play. It is weakened forever, but your loop is not down. Still play this. Just in case you need to end the fight. As cock now we have storm, so not the best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-five. So that's good enough. Okay, it's buffing and buffing is good. Uh, we don't have hologram anymore, so unfortunately we probably need to let that go because the next multi hit can never block. Yeah. So this is still a round where we cannot double play it now. Yeah, let's kill now. To keep in certain good number. Well, I mean, that cannot be bad. So are we digging or not? We are, right? I can recall first to make the deck here slightly better, yeah? Because then we don't see the garbage, um, like, prayer wheel or whatever crap like now. The recall immediately is probably stronger. On the other hand, we can see Potion Belt earlier, but it's fine. Potion Belt is already a high roll. I mean, I will go some deck. Sometimes you cannot farm, no? Sometimes you can, but sometimes you cannot, and this is big enough already. Unless we have Calipers. This thing can still be bigger, yeah? But at the same time, even if the spoon doesn't work at all in this fight, it's still kind of fine. The 47 does, need to, does not need to be bigger. Yeah, I take my one relic, I think. Okay. Ow. Burn into forty five, it's a classic. No loop, uh it was fine. Ow. Okay.
Okay, good, good. The small ones returning is exactly what we want. I'm looking forward to it, but yeah, I'm cautious. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. So the standard take. And loop now. And yeah, of course we buy to full, yeah. Can never take damage. On our item, big our item is gone, but small one still around. And that's the one we want to build more. Yeah, bites are uh, quite strong. As you can see, the fact that we are still taking fat node damage to all of these fights say that yeah, act for small concern. Of course, if we survive initial turns against P and Shield, we do heal to full again with Bite Plus, but yes. The uh, potential problem is definitely there. Holy. You can actually kill when it's just on one with that. Not very likely, but we had two barrages, so it's possible. Oh, nah, nah. Lizard Tail, uh, Alipers, Gambling Chip. Wait, this one's gone now, so we'll finally get out. So our two algorithms are right now 51 and 31, yeah? We picked the first one uh, two falls away before end of Act 2. And the second one is bought in the shop early Act 3, and now it's already 31 block. We have three more fights to go before boss counted. Oh, it's already dying to double barrage, actually. Sometimes it dies to taunts before, though. Wait, actually, if I defend now, does it work? So, it's a 3, yeah? I know this works, right? I don't even need barrage because it attacks me one more time. But I do get the barrage anyway. Otherwise, I'm willing to. Um, the plan was to double attack. It goes to one, it attacks me, and it dies to taunts. I also have barrage. Ah, you asked for mango? Here's mango. But smaller. <laughs> Amplify is a uh, bait and it's not even a good one, yeah? so we don't take. Uh, we skip. Leap plus? I mean, leap plus when we have like triple glacier and two huge algorithms is a little bit, you know, outclass. So probably not. And your rebound, I don't need. Okay, stallable fight. Ow! <laughs> Once again, we drove the 4%, but most of these attack, but at least this guy did not attack. Uh, that's quite a lot of damage, but we think we have bike plus. <laughs> These guys still need to die turn 3, but that should be fairly easy. Ow. Oh, I should have played bike here. Oh, that's fine. Because then, I mean, not exactly dead, but yes, it's not very pretty. These guys have enough HP for me to buy back, right? I think they do. Yeah, I think they do. <laughs> 16 actually always, yeah, it happens sometimes. I 
Because they always attack every turn now, yeah? But that's not a problem. So I cannot stay here forever. It takes 3 damage per turn. And again, not a problem. Is that not shot for anything and maybe we want to build small one first? This one does not need to be that or I will still play it. Oh wait wait, let's open up. Ah Ah Uh, returns again, but we only have three turns, yeah? I of course would be willing to play next time 50 out of 51. <laughs> Doubling this is more important. No! My skill sucks. <laughs> uh, it's fine, it's already 39. It's okay. Garbage. Max HP Retromancer. Um, I mean, we do have the Electro. And the Chills. But I hope that I don't need to, you know, Potion Dex and not die. Yeah, if I had to get the Rune and not die, it would be quite sad. There is a, there are a lot of hands that uh, make us fight next turn. But because it rolls max HP, this barrage doesn't actually kill with the taunts and let open her. I should still play barrage for sure, but yeah. I can let open her and not take pocket watch, but that is completely stupid because that is not even killing because they have max HP. If they do not have max HP, I can let open her into barrage and kill and accept that maybe next turn I have 3 less draw, but this guy is dead, so we block 25. As of now, yeah, not really a thing. Do I hit this or hit this? 16, 19, this is it 9? Maybe at 6? This guy could be at 8, but all 11. 11 is the worst number, yeah. Okay, double landing hits here is just the worst outcome. Uh. Um. Oh man, if I have to actually burn Gambler's Brew here, it's like very bad. But currently we are dead, yeah, if I don't potion. And I don't think I'm even allowed to play this squad to pro. Yeah, no chill, no electro, no algorithm, and we draw only three glacier, and just yes, glacier sucks. It just sucks. Yeah, I don't think I'm even allowed to quit it first, or am I? If I quit it first, exactly into algorithm, we are safe. If it's drawn into electro, how is it? Um, electro, so electro here, here, it killed this, but then these are all alive and cannot block. So electro doesn't save. The chill. Depends on where this lightning hits here or not, but if the chill lightning hits here, we can block this and survive on a single disease or something and can bite back. But this potion is super important. Uh, if I lose one energy, like how bad is it? Maybe it's still fine, yeah, it's still fine. Like, none of these like, need the energy. Of course, I don't play it and then Game Boy can echo form into Algorithm into chill. So then they have echo form in play, but it's not crucial for this fight to play echo form. If I have a chance to preserve this potion, I will go for it. Nope. We might still die, yeah? even uh, because the game load here is not uh, guaranteeing anything. Still no chill, yeah? we bottom deck both chill and our wisdom. And blind. So uh, that's really bad. They'll take a million damage here, by the way. Uh, not a, a billion, but yeah, it's, it's big.
Yeah, uh, no defect, no bias cock in play. Yeah, if they want to play the electro, I can play bias cock algorithm barrage, but then no pocket watch next turn. <laughs> if we go, no, we might die next turn. That's the annoying part that we might still die next turn. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, we cannot, we cannot, because we have pocket watch next turn, and this guy is already dead. Now the turn is just electro is algorithm and take uh, like forty or something. We block 41, this guy is dead, but all of these are alive, so hit 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 34, 52 so you don't tori. So in total we are facing 75, we block 41, we take 34. I mean at least we are not dead because our, because our algorithm is big. <laughs> I can not take Pokemon Watch and play like Defect Barrage instead, yeah, but uh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, let's play Electro. Because we need these to die next turn as well. <laughs> yep, very nasty. Master is ready to mention and we also brick. So we, now if we die next four, you know you, how it happened, yeah? Now if we die to turn two speed and shield or turn two hard, you know exactly where it happens. It's this fight. Ow. Summon, yeah, okay, whatever. Chill next turn is already feeling all frost. I guess we can still do here. Blind, you don't need. Yeah, here's the chill, so we need it. A couple of turns ago. So I break out watch this turn. Um, that basically says they can die next turn if I do that. I don't want to die. Actually, I don't. I don't die. I just play this and then end turn. This guy dies with taunts. Even she attack. If she, even if she attacks, we are still okay. Uh, by by dual cast zap is killing this and this. We need block forty one. Dual cast is fourteen, twenty two, twenty two, sixteen, thirty eight. We take one. That's fine. Taking one. No problem, watch next turn, no? So it's a bit annoying. Is there a cleaner line somehow? We just bite by and zap? That takes too much, right? Yeah, that takes too much. And Glacier doesn't kill, yeah? So we need to... I guess I can zap and do a cast, but I think I do a cast and zap. Yo, back one, you want to take nine. For no reason. Because the taunts... I guess actually no, no, it's, it's, it's true, it's true. It's like Zap Lightning. Yeah, Zap Lightning, so I should have hit this. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah no, it's correct, it's correct. Should have hit this thing. Ow. But again, uh, it's fine. Doesn't make a... Huge difference. Why is this fight so annoying? <laughs> yeah, we just buy to try to buy the full and get the hell out. Huh? The only power left is by a scorp, and if you play by a scorp, it means the fight wants to end, so I can play storm. But yeah, like very big loss here. Losing the gambler's brew in this fight is like insanely bad. Gambler's, yeah, I hope so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, full block.
At least we got full HP. Again, but we want to kill her next turn anyway. And we brick here. I mean, if we, if we can't brick, we cannot do anything about it. So I just had to hit her. And there's no real other line. Akabeko. Akabeko Barrage can do something, maybe. Or not But yeah, no potion drop. Hyper Beam Plus, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, after that retro fight, draws a freaking hyper beam. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> very funny. Oh, uh, go snap, I guess. We have triple glaze here now, so go snap is not super important. And we have Akabeko, so maybe we want to try to Akabeko the Barrage. Capacitor is still good, even with the uh, Inserter. Check digging with the saber, yeah, if we can. Digging out, digging will give us one relic deeper. But I don't know what that is yet. Uh, BCP not guaranteed though. You, uh, we don't know. Actually, in order to check, we need to run Resumer later because I don't actually know what the rarity would be. And I don't know uh, exactly what kind of things get rerolled once you go up floors. Like whether you still get the same rarity or not. Because the relic queue is uh, three different queues, yeah? It's not one queue. But you need to roll the rarity first and then you look at the queue after. This side should be easily controllable though, so there's that. Oh yeah, once again, this deck does not have energy boost, yeah? so the setup cannot be that fast, which is slightly spooky. At the same time, of course, we have the algorithm, so uh, maybe can buy us time. But we need to draw them on turn 2 now without Gambler's Brew. As you can see, like we need way too much energy to set up, to finish setting up, and we don't make it. We only have four per turn. Like no happy flower, no moon, no mummified hand, no nunchaku, no tea set or the things. And our deck doesn't actually have past the active draw either, yeah? beyond the gambler's rule that we unfortunately had to use. Because this draw exactly the worst possible burning elite, and we also drew bad. Yeah, that is bad. That is indeed very bad. I won't let me buy any more subs, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you're buying uh, if you does that. Okay, exhausted. Oh, yeah, I do appreciate a lot, but yes, please spend responsibility. Buy the bag you're holding. And they're still building up.
Cross Gauntlet should not be a huge problem, but maybe Awakened One can be sometimes. Probably not. Because we have double barrage to kill Cultists too. Yeah, so that's exactly one fight that can force us to gamblers through, yeah? And it did happen. Don't have that much to go into Act 4 either to buy Rare Relics here. So no gambling chip or lizard tail or something similar. Yeah, end the fight next turn, so turn one. Ammo, uh, max HP Retomancer with bad draw order. Also, it's very annoying. Hologram plus, well, plus should be good. Yeah, draw out with them early and then uh, Hologram turn two. I mean, plus doesn't actually better, but yeah, plus supports better than minus. But the, it's only two block up with the exhaust or not doesn't matter. Dick. Well, that would not have done anything. Uh, maybe it would push her to Akabeko, I don't know, because Akabeko would kill a dagger, yeah? Oh, yeah, no potion. So maybe digging earlier would have done it, I don't know. Could have been. This fight is not that bad. It's not that good either, though. It's not that bad. I think I wait to double the frag and we just buy to full, yeah? Yeah, I just double every power and then it probably works. This is a lot of damage, it was 64, but I did not do it. Ah, uh, not having Gambler's Boon now suddenly makes Act 4 is so much more annoying. <laughs> because if we. I was thinking yeah is that uh, how this run will go is that maybe a gambler's blue and spear and shield do not die turn two and then we take whatever damage into biting to four and then i enter the hard fight with tori uh, artifact potion and that should cover either a block vulnerable first cycle and then we set up echo form or i get five focus turn one with the bias cock and then we still like kind of relax but uh, yeah, now it's definitely not relaxing because I have a chance to die immediately in Spear and Shield. <laughs> and that can actually force the artifact pot in Spear and Shield to get the bias cock focus too. And that would be the worst case. Yeah, that would be terrible. Okay, what's next turn will lead to some awkward lines, but I don't actually care. Yeah? Also, next echo form again. But next time we know we have echo form algorithm double chill for four cards. Oh, I can make it angry right now, but then next one I don't guarantee to draw into everything here. I just let it do whatever. Okay, exhausted. We have bottom deck echo in every single f important fight in Act 3 so far, by the way. So hopefully it doesn't happen in Act 4. 67 is full block though. In both fights. So at least it's big enough. The other one is exhausted already. Yeah? That's why of course it's done when we have full HP, but that's... Yeah, I don't expect boss gauntlet to be a problem. And they're not. Oh, this damage though. Yeah, look at this damage though. Ok, 
very full HP, so now we just farm until the other hour with him is gone and then move on. It's too much damage, 1, 2, 3, 9, right? So it's 144. Usually it's not enough, uh, it's not too much damage, but like why, yeah, why even do that? <laughs> Just wait until the algorithm exhausts and then do a thing. Let's not be impatient here. Of course, it's getting increasingly slower because of the slimes. But at some point, the algorithm will go away. And then we kill when this is on one. But yeah, no active draw, no acceleration beyond pocket watch, and we lost a potion. Man, I actually need to hope to draw our item turn 1, turn 2, or turn 3 now. If we bottom deck everything in Spear and Shield, we uh, would die. That's up now. And even if we finish Spear and Shield without taking damage, yeah. The hack can also skill us. Pretty easily. I mean, our item is going in, no? Third one, no, it's only two, but the second one has not exhausted yet. I mean, the first one, the big one has not exhausted yet. I mean, it's still going. It's going there too. We cannot buy calipers in the Act 4 shop, but we can still dig it up. Or the Act 4 this can drop it, so of course we try to farm it. But my relic, no, it could have been because. I guess our Wither would be a lot smaller without the spoon, but we could have had maybe Sentinel Puzzle and that could have been enough for Retomancer turn 2. Uh, but I don't know, because if we don't have our Wither to draw into, then we also must run to chill, yeah? Then we were way off on the chills. Or the defrag. You see, it's not even that good luck though, because I want the small ones to be bigger, not this one. This one already full blocks. This one already full blocks the moment I draw into it. So I want the other one to be bigger. The other one is called, right now only 47. Yeah, oddly. Turn killing is probably not happening. <laughs> There's no stream here, yeah, no comments. But no, the actual answer is no. I don't expect it to be uh, in a playable state yet, that they need to have balanced feedback. And even if they do need balanced feedback here, yeah, like public feedback is more useful. I do hope I get connected at some point. But now it's not what I not not when I expect it would happen. Wait in one, yeah. Okay, I thought I perform good. Try to save this because we can hollow it for turn 3 if somehow bad things happen. Like 9. Uh, we can double this, but it's better to just double like Glacier, yeah? 
and get ready to block uh, next turn. Also, let burn no damage. I come back for steel preserve so you can barrage. Yeah, taking damage here does not actually matter because we have bites. It's only uh, 12. Actually, it's 11. Uh, now we, we're basically fully set up. Oh, watch again. Take 18 is a bit spooky. Oh, I should have hollow chill before doing this, huh? I guess I'll still do this. Take one and play this now. Also, taking the effect is not exactly the best because it makes a loop weaker. That's fine. It's weakened. Yeah, this is like fine. This is full block. So now, once again, we try to farm our items a little bit. But this is already full block forever. Can push it to the second half and then exhaust some more powers too. Big one exhaust is fine, I want small one to come back though. I'm talking about a very early play test, I don't expect um, that they need a good player's feedback or anything. In fact, like, the initial pass would probably be for more casual players, if anything. I just hit now. <laughs> uh, exhausted. Okay, so it's only fifty one. The other one is 91, so it's definitely full blocking, but 51 is not, um, like, taking zero territory yet. Oh, I found me a bit now. Second Varaz killing, we draw into it now. This is uh, 240, yeah? so we kill now and insert on one. Man, it's also really annoying is that the uh, fight that Force Gamers Brew was like the last, almost the last half victory, so we don't have time to refill pots. Otherwise, if it falls early, uh, we could have gotten like a focus for or something and he'll feel like somewhat okay. I haven't even taken this. <laughs> Wait, I did not actually think about it, yeah, but should I have been taken this thing? Because uh, the spear and shield fight would need to be by to full. We actually will take damage, and then we buy to full. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I see a cauldron. And that is what we are going to buy. Happy flower is quite nice too. But uh, we buy the cauldron. <laughs> and one pot vulnerable depends on what else I draw. So I cannot tell you right now. Okay, draw pot. Um, could be worse. I think it's still artifact, yeah? We stack away with hologram of one so we can go infinite. It's probably just draw pot. So we paid 160 whatever we go for this one draw pot. No uh, fruit juice. 
No food juice, no gamblers, bro. But that's okay. At the fact pot every should be kept, right? And we can buy the quest that we want. I don't think I want though. So we just leave yeah. That has double chill triple glacier, we do not need the cool headed. Do not need the blizzard either, so we just move on. Don't want this loop. Okay, can easily die in act 4 here. In both fights. Hopefully not. This is actually good though. Uh, this pattern is a good pattern. We are taking it at uh, seven, and we lost on focus turn one. Very nice. <laughs> and by clock turn two, we play for sure. <laughs> so uh, our time is limited, yeah. Unless I want to uh, artifact pot immediately, but we still have ten healing from only Thopter. So leaving this fight with minus twelve is acceptable. We can leave this fight on thirty nine. I think this guy has do has done minus focus uh, to my face like how many times in a row? No? It's like four or five times in a row. And the first attack is minus focus. <laughs> That's pretty annoying. This doesn't actually full block at all. It blocks um, 29. 29 we're facing 15, so 15 is 11. 11 is acceptable. Yeah, we are losing one focus per turn, but our item full blocks, echo form happens, electro happens, and we do kill them fairly quickly. I hope. <laughs> so I don't artifact part for this. Take another 11. Okay, electro is good. So, capacitor, electro, algorithm, yeah? We don't need to double that now. Bottom necking echo form again. And the double barrage, which is annoying part. Oh. And two holograms are here that we know for sure next time we don't have our things, yeah? How much damage is Barrage? Um, next turn, we do not have any more orbs. So, one, two, three, eight slots. Eight slots, Barrage should be two strength plus ten. So, it's 16, 128. Ah, 128 actually kills the, this thing. Okay, 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 okay. This thing actually would die yeah, to our rush. With Akabeko. Uh, so this thing alone is only hitting for 46, uh, for 48, 52. 52 loop happens before the focus goes down, so we get to block 8. And then this will block for 16, so it's 26 plus it block. We do have Defract, which will increase by 12. That's 38, so we take like still 10. Eh. Oh, for one does not pull back and it actually it does pull back the chill. Okay, so I should play Glacier, yeah? I should play Glacier, but not the chill. I can actually Glacier Hologram Blind. Yeah, Glacier Hologram Blind should be the best line here. Because next time maybe off one if off one is drawn it pulls back beam cell blinds so can weaken this too. And with the draw pot we can never break uh, if the disaster case happened. But the good case we don't need the potion. Ah no off one. Now, this is killing here though, 128. Or we can kill here. If we kill here, what would happen? Uh, this would be 6, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4. No, it's 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Uh, yeah, this thing is dead if we want to. Otherwise, I'm taking damage. But uh, the problem with killing this is that we need to deal with this next turn. Double Barrage, Defract. And this might get us one more focus down, so it goes back to 4 and 4. Would be 8. And then all of these block 3, so it's 26 block next turn. Probably still, yeah, it's probably still just better to kill this immediately. So, I mean, at least back, I of course, doing something good. Yeah. Okay, Quachi is probably the line. Oh, yeah, once again, that's another fight for Echo Form's bottom deck. The entire Echo Form has been Echo Form bottom deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 34, 39. So a triple hologram here. Blind, hollow, hollow, hollow. Uh, not bite, uh, bite. Hollow, hollow, hollow is 13, 13 for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 37, 47, so we full block. Oh yeah, this entire end game, yeah? Like, every single fight so far, it performs bottom deck. So hopefully uh, Ecoform is like turn 1 in the hard fight or something, I don't know. And we can... If Ecoform is on turn 1, I can safely block vulnerable. On Spy 2, we are looking forward to it. But don't expect it to be amazing immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six. Forty two. So actually I should play bite here over the hologram. Because I'm blocking forty two, yeah. So forty two I'm taking one to Tori and um yeah, this is healing more. We are losing one focus per turn. At the same time, it should be fine. <laughs> Already no more focus, but yeah, it's fine. Arras is coming. So I actually need to scale this and 91 is big enough, yeah? Cannot block next turn, no? so we are forced to kill it next turn. So insert us on zero, but yeah, I guess I have to deal with that. Wait, is that no focus? Yes. Oh, yeah, I cannot block this unless we redraw into the thing. Unless we draw into bite, so we kill now. Wait. <laughs> Wait, it's actually here. <laughs> So, uh, apparently this two block actually could have mattered. <laughs> On the way here with Bayer? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, that probably says they want to... I don't know what that actually says, really. We have Tori and 61 HP, yeah? So how is this place here? <laughs> Yeah, question is, how is this Glacier? It's probably still good. We might need to play the hard fight with uh, no permanent bias cog and maybe single defract. And if we draw by cost turn 1, I would like to have Glacier in hand also that you can actually block 5 fo uh, I get 5 perma focus. Because the thing with Caliper is that the moment we deal with first cycle, we are probably invincible afterwards. Now, that's not exactly the hand I want to draw. Uh, well, if this is the hand, I think I have to block vulnerable. I don't think I have a choice here. Yeah, if this is the hand, I am forced to block vulnerable. I can draw pot immediately, but that loses another 5 HP, yeah? which I don't think is a good thing to do. 
But we just artifact port and do nothing or what? I can also boost sequence zap, but having boost sequence around to maybe hollow away my 0 for 1 is slightly better than just playing it immediately. And I don't want to play Storm. I mean, maybe I do want to play Storm, but I probably don't after the Cardiff first. So we just do nothing and waste 5 healing yeah, from the ancient port. That's a terrible turn 1 draw. Oh yeah, I can zap without yours, it's true. And that is like really bad. <laughs> 45, and that's exactly why we blocked the vulnerable. If we did not, we are dead right now. <laughs> so it's a good thing we did block the vulnerable, yes. <laughs> Next turn, uh, Tori and such, but still we need HP to use Tori, yeah? so it's not that trivial. I mean, Chio is because it's neutral, so we play that, and then we can defend for 1 each. 0 for 1 into boost sequence is blocking 7 with 2 cards, so it's slightly better than double defend. Loses Akabeko, but nobody cares. And Void here? No, no, Void here is fine. Void here is way better than Void next turn, I'm telling you. Because that actually allows him to the echo form into algorithm. I know Void now is good. If anything, if we are sad about anything, it's that this hit uh, comes first. <laughs> if the multi comes first, it's better. But this hit comes first, so we don't have a chance to draw into algorithm all the blind. That is fine. Probably just chill double defend. Eh? Chill double defend with this block neutral, this blocking 1 8, so we block 2, take 43, go to 8. With 8, we heal 5, so we go to 13. And we have a million things to block in here. Hopefully we run to one of them. Right? <laughs> uh, chill into bite. Technically speaking, yeah, but no, I need pocket watch. So we just chill double defend. I can off one into boot sequence immediately. It's, uh, one HP is actually important. Akabeko is not important at all, yeah? But one HP is actually important. Uh, maybe I just really do that. I off one more sequence. Even if the chill gets spoon, and I off one back the chill, I don't think I will play it because I want pocket watch. Potion? No, 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 no. You never potion this turn. Potioning this turn is how you die. Right? Please don't do that. You never potion this turn. That much I can tell you. Do not waste this 5 HP. This 5 HP is super important. And you can still face like this hit. Like, please do not uh, waste your 5 HP. <laughs> that is how you will play a losing fight immediately. <laughs> oh yeah, probably chill for one more sequence. Yeah. And because we don't care about Akabeko, but we care about 1 HP. Chill is still worth playing, yeah? I mean, it will pull the chill back, but I don't play it. Ow. I'm telling you, like every every single fight in the end game, yeah, we bottom deck away perform. <laughs> every single one. Like not just Act Four, both fights Act Four and then also Act Three and then whatever. But we do have the caliper, so maybe not looping this is fine. Okay, here's a real question. Am I playing these algorithms or not? Because I don't think I am. <laughs> yeah, I definitely am not playing algorithm. I just use Tori right now. And we can hologram the algorithm and set calipers for second cycle, maybe. Oh, we can play algorithm now because the spoon can work. Yeah? Like I play the 68 with full block. In fact, actually, before doing that, I should, um, I should spend HP first, so I play Defrag. Yeah, Defrag first to burn the 2 HP off, and then I can play the Algorithm. The line to not play the Algorithm would be... Uh, I haven't calculated order, but I expect, like, 
it's some something like by defect glacier and the by going after block is definitely stronger so glacier blocks five we can glacier defect by lose one so minus one but heal three so we go to 11 hp 11 hp and passive block is 12 so we block six we lose nine we go to two we go to two potion to seven Sometimes we draw echo form with both holograms though, and that gets really, really annoying, yeah? Because second cycle we can steal Tori if we have HP. If I play the algorithm now, we are fairly reliant on the... I guess Glacier Barra still deals enough damage with Thorns. We should be able to block steel, yeah? With the Calipers echo form, even with only two focus. So if I maximum block, 68. We play out with them defrag uh, glacier. So 62 plus 5, 67, 67 plus 12, 79, 79. We take 30, so 49, 49 calipers to 34. 34 is like 19. We store something like 30 block for second cycle. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good, uh, even if echo forms are really lit. Because we still have like 5 more HP here in second cycle story. Third cycle can also be Tori. Okay, sure, I play this. And 50% of the time, this even... It doesn't even go away, yeah? Out of the time, this doesn't even go away. Okay, it did go away. Thanks. They got not fail, yeah, yeah, I want that too. Which is why I was thinking of the line that does not play any algorithm, but... The problem with that is that uh, you can see... Like next turn we might die. But of course here I can I could have hollow the algorithm and gain the block now. We can hollow the other algorithm, yeah? But uh, can also blind hollow blind here, or we just glaze here play bites, play blind or something. Like I can see this like glacier bite blind. We caliper steel block uh, and next turn we can draw a good form. Maybe. Because I don't need to hollow anything right now. I can hollow blind to guarantee win a second cycle, yeah? But that's not important. Any thoughts to maybe start with Chio first and then draw pot? Uh, actually, maybe that's better. Or blind first and then draw pot. Yeah, maybe blind first to draw pot. Uh, is Chio better than blind? Maybe Chio is better than blind. I don't know. It was blind if it lands on... I guess if it lands on multi-hit next turn... Is it blind now it's only good if next turn is big hit? Yeah. If next turn is multi-hit then... It's like okay but it's not the best. But on the other hand, Chio is just... Good to play. With the Caliper is like 4 block per turn... And we can steal over block next turn. Yeah, actually let's Chio drop on. And if it's like this, I play Capacitor Glacier. Capacitor Glacier, right? Um, two more cards, so we go plus three, and then 24. So 24 plus three. I guess I can blind hollow blind, if that's the case as well. Otherwise, how much block do we have if we just take the Calipers again? Uh, not Calipers, we Pocket Watch again. Play 3 cards, pocket watch, yeah? Block for plus 3, minus 2, so plus 1 only. 33, 33 passive is 6. So uh, 57, 42 passive. 42 from Calipers plus this 66, so we are full blocking next turn, guaranteed. And then turn afterwards, we have echo form in play, pocket watch still round. Uh, multi hit cannot kill us because we have Tori. Okay, so we pocket watch again, yeah? I do not need to put my blind here yet, because the blind doesn't even block a lot. And yes, once again, we block to make echo. <laughs> but that's like a freaking broken record at this point, you know. I can also blind hollow chill now. But I think I take a pocket watch. Alright, seven first. Okay, it goes here. Uh, 
uh, how low chill or do I beam cell loot? I cannot use beam cell defend. Next time I can never die yeah, because of Tori. If I beam cell now, it opens double blind for the third cycle of Tori. And then fourth cycle is still blocked. And then fourth, fifth cycle, maybe we can caliper up or maybe it's dead by then. With a double barrage full strength and 10 slots. We draw to barrage even with our vulnerable. It's 120, 160 damage actually. So there's no actual problem. But yeah, the thing is that I don't think I even want to spend a turn to double loop after this point. Yeah? So I just play loop beam cell immediately, I think. So we lose all block now. But this thing we never die to. Can double this right now to full block, we can save for later. I think I'm saving, right? So we double cool headed if anything, yeah. Can double blind, but double blind doesn't matter here. If I double cool headed into maybe single blind or just a bolt lightning. If I double quit into bolt lightning here, we take six, uh, go to eight. My passive block is one, two, three, four, five, eight slots. So 32 blocks eight, he takes seven. Wait, that goes to one. And you know what I feel about going to one, yeah? Going to one is good. I say I always tell because I can still use Tori right now. This is like maybe the last time I can use Tori and I would like to use all my HP. Because otherwise, uh, after I block with Calipers, I'm invincible. And right now I can have an opportunity to spend 13 HP. And then afterwards I have Loop Frost, so with Calipers we never take damage. No, that's just better, yeah? Double quaded into more landing or something. Double check, because if this is wrong, I die. <laughs> I mean, I don't die, I can always play algorithm after, but I would waste HP for no reason. Next I'll go, no. Next, uh, next cycle might not even be I'll go yet. Next cycle, maybe some Glacier into Barrage and then Algorithm. Oh, I can also just double I'll go now. Because <laughs> double I'll go now makes the third cycle a lot safer. <laughs> yeah, that double I'll go now actually makes the third cycle a lot safer. Even though it makes fourth cycle slightly more dangerous. Ah, going to one is like so cool though. It's a like rule of cool, you know. We have to go for the cool line. Okay, trust the spoon. Spoon sucks. Spoon sucks. Alright, I can play Electro now. Yeah, now we can deal damage. We can block Calipers as well, but we can also deal 160 if we want. I want to set up block though, because uh, it's only taking damage on bronze scale, yeah? And now we are fine, yeah. This always wins, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, this line always wins, but let's just go for the line that always wins, you know? It's fine. Don't even need Pocket Watch now, but I wouldn't mind taking Pocket Watch either. Let's take Pocket Watch, because why not? Open Lightning, yeah, no problem. Double Ice Cock now can happen. Still looping Lightning, yeah? There's no reason not to loop Lightning, so I just loop Lightning. Wait, where the hell is my... <laughs> I thought I get beam cell this turn, but I get to get that to double beam cell next turn, and that's good too. In fact, I don't even need to remove this lightning, yeah, I can stay here. On scale now, we don't need one scale damage. Our damage is actually very fast. <laughs> Our damage is actually very fast, and like, we can block 4 cycle like this always. So there's like zero risk here. We overkill this thing probably by like 300 damage or something by the time we need to get out. But you can see, yeah, we store enough block to even block the fourth, uh, the fifth cycle here. If you want to. Oh, 
Oh, but I could have gone to one though. Oh, but I could have gone to one though. That's a draw. That we made the fight a lot easier because I don't need to think too hard when to play algorithms or how to approach the fight. We'll probably still be fine no? with uh, this draw though. It's not bad enough to kill us, I don't think. It is pretty bad. <laughs> But I don't think it's bad enough to kill us in this run. Uh, would it be completely free if we have a freaking game to pool? We don't. I just still preserve the 100% pocket watch. Losing a run with floor 1, floor 0 pocket watch is like, pretty embarrassing. Yeah? I would think it did not happen. Is it updated? I mean... Yeah, I updated right now. Give me a second. Uh, Nightbot. Okay, updated now. I actually need to refill water, so yeah, be right back. Uh, this doesn't take that long, so only maybe uh, one minute. But yeah, the uh, this effect win and this silent win, whatever comments were from the times they was where I was playing uh, silent end effect rotation, only silent end effect. And yeah, now it's also this, so we can just remove the command. Because it's actually very easy to tell, I, I tell you one secret trick here, yeah, to know whether the defect won or not. If strict is zero, it probably means defect did not win. Yes. <laughs> the strict is not zero, then I probably would. Uh, potential four leads on the left. That is burning elite on floor 8, one fire only, so pretty risky path, no early shot, 5 4 way fights. <laughs> that is insanely aggressive. So I don't know what kind of uh, madman will do something like this, yeah? But you can, you can attempt. Uh, otherwise, the safer path is double fire early elite option, though early shot into 2 elite path. So you can swap, but swap is advanced all way here. Shop is in a decent position to 100 gold. And the act value is not so low. It's 2 elites into slime boss. So HP does matter. The swap may be slightly worse even if the energy plays more. So uh, 100 gold into floor 4 shop here into 2 elites is probably fine. Okay, defect owns. Ah, defect owns. <laughs> That's a 25% because the other 10 gold no potion. So maybe defect doesn't own that much. But every other outcome uh, forces the victory. Doom of a bow lightning. Well, into slime boss. 
Uh, and yeah, floor one probably still take doom. This is quite good. In one way here, speak a little bit more for the doom too. Doom sucks. Ten gold. <laughs> Okay, so our PB yeah, so far. I think our PB so far is like 44 go to 4 fights. Right now we are 20 up to 2. So we'll see whether we can beat that or not. For the next mic, I can recursion or I can uh, agree to scheme. Scheme right now does not play at all. Yeah? In fact, it doesn't. It even has some. I guess it can kind of say it has some synergy with this because you draw this faster. But at the same time, the thing is expensive and scheme is also expensive. Uh, recursion is a uh, long term grid, or we can just take front load immediately, ball lining. Taking 100 go into all front load is not super comfortable, but I thought it was probably too early to pick greedy before we even know what happens and what the shop is. So I probably still take ball lining. Also, ball landing makes the doom better too, yeah? Because we can actually evoke uh, this dark orb sometimes. Is this killing? Ball landing, defend, defend. 7, 13, 18, 18, yes. Health gold. Okay, so three fights and we are at uh, 32. <laughs> yeah, we are 32 out of the three fights. Expected value is 45. Dark build. Oh, okay, next Team Barrier. Team Barrier is fine too. Uh, into several hallways after this. Added two attacks. Yeah, sure. To empty shop, very nice. So yeah, this one will be. This run is probably pretty annoying. Hundred go start and hundred go start into empty shop and like no potion drop and low go. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. We can buy the panacea in case we buy stock later. But at the same time, there is no frost. And panacea is only. I guess it's somewhat useful against lack of lead with this too. Blocking next now is not nothing. And work one fight with this. It's kind of like the greediest option. Like the Panacea here is the greediest option. And with... Mm, front loaded cards and also this shop is not giving us very strong options either. Maybe it's time to greed. It can backfire for sure, yeah? but sometimes it can also block against Nob. And we know that it's doing roughly okay against like a Woolen. Nothing else worth buying really, like I can buy a potion, more chance currently is 50. Don't want to. Buy Panacea and leave or what? Or do I, do I buy recursion on sale? I would pick a recursion for free. I definitely do not want two recursion at the moment. And there's no upgrade. I mean there is an upgrade. Mm. But the upgrade can go on like Doom and Gloom, maybe even do a cast. Let's take Panacea, yeah. Opens maybe potion souls later too, sometimes. And 50% of the time we we'll see a bias call. Roughly 50, maybe slightly above. But that's not a good start. It's definitely not a good start. I don't play go remover, do I? 1, 2, 60, 90 on 20, on 95, 210. 45, so they'll run 270 go into Act 2, early Act 2 shop. Oh yes, I can see removing Strike with Bowland and Doom Method. And the knob is sometimes Panacea to block Vulnerable and a Power Potion. And that's all, yeah? I don't play go for these even though they are marginally positive right now. I don't think so.
Yeah, nice uh, Panacea, very nice. Maybe NS5. Doombo Lightning, probably, yeah. Ow. Okay, if he post, fine. Thunder is fine. So we up with Thunder then. Maybe rest second fire, but for now, yeah, some the green with the fear pot. I got pull in. Oh, you can change 40% and fear pot wants to be safe for dog or slime boss. So I can see power potioning here. We have no frost though, so it's like only the echo form. Creative AI doesn't even do it, yeah. So it's like echo form buffer. Maybe the yeah, defect miners can still play the zap, so it's not that bad. But my score immediately. I guess we don't need to play the zap and open. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hello World over Echo Form is an idea. Yeah, that's. No. And we open now, yeah, for sure. I can open with Double Doom, we can open then Double Thunder. Next time we have full block because defend, 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 defend. Uh, double thunder is how much damage? Plus 10, 44, yeah? Uh, this is dealing 15. So plus 29 and we have two dark orbs. Two dark orbs should be more than 29, yeah? If we work both, it's already 24. Oh, yeah, now you want the potion. I want the potion with Echo Fall in play, yeah? Yeah, now we want the potion. <laughs> okay, cool, that we take. You can also take the reinforced body. But uh, expensive, expensive, even if it's zero cost, yeah, probably not. With this, uh, also probably not. So I rest and then go left or I can upward and go right but we already spent our gold so this shop is not very good. Upwarding on uh, Doom is not super important with the Thunder Plus. Still fine but not insanely important. The speed now I have uh, just have 240 FPS. Wait, Chemex. Wait, you are so true actually. You're, you're just chewing. Point change around 30%. One question mark, you already life lost, you're not taken, healing is wasted. We take hallway fights. Okay. 40 is not quite killing, yeah? We can maybe block vulnerable here. <laughs> Actually, block vulnerable. That's pretty funny. But doesn't matter whether it dies next turn. Oh, I mean, it kind of dies next turn. Yeah, it dies next turn. One chance now is 20. There's a beam cell to go, or Sunder can be upgraded. Second Sunder, not interested. Himself, a one fire is not super strong with the fear pot, but the uh, fear pot will be gone, right, at some point. So block over artifact because we already have Panacea. Against the knob now we have Fear Pot, Beam Cell Thunder Plus. This is very long term payoff, but we do already have the Panacea so it's only in Act 4 where we need artifact urgently. Maybe you can say that Act 2 like Chosen, whatever, but this potion also does well against that. Any Doom? This is why you pick... Ah, upon chance 10%. GPB I work. Wait, did we? Actually, I, for I forgot to check. Ah! Wait, how much gold did I get here? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> Damn, we were like 32 after 2... Yeah, 32 after 3 fights. So, it's like on pace. Ah, 17. Okay, never mind. Then it's uh, 49 gold. But yeah, 44 gold after 4 fights. It's pretty freaking rare. I don't expect it to happen. Equally good. 
explosive is not needed, right? The only reason for explosive is for Sun to kill Sentry and turn 1, but with the Akabeko, it will reduce 40. So if the Sentry low, low HP, it can happen. If it will beam cell, it can happen. And Sentry is uh, maybe an easier fight anyway. This potion I want to save into Act 2 more than the explosive. Yeah, so it's nice if you draw some of the turn 1 will still kill. Play Zap, right? I think so. Thunder's one shotting this either way. And if the lightning hits here, you can Thunder here instead. If I draw into my freaking Thunder. <laughs> yeah, and now I quit into my Thunder, I can really tell, guys. I play Quit and Thunder shows up. Ah, okay, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't happen. Can we kill? We cannot kill, right? 15, 21, 24, even if I play 30, it's not enough, yeah. Easiest and with the red, which is a lot. So we just block. And if that's the case, then probably this here. And then I do this here, maybe. Five. And yeah, this is under range, this is normal range. I want to take two, so I just won't. We do like this, or that this is in Thunder range, yeah? And Doom still kill both, maybe Lightning Ranger to kill this. Well, I guess I have to take two either way. Ow! Yeah, thank you for good luck. Okay, I can do grab food. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, good play gets rewarded. Okay, it's not actually good play, yeah? but greedy play gets rewarded. <laughs> yeah, greedy play gets rewarded. Oh, uh, Lagavulin now maybe not a problem. Yeah, Equi and then potentially 4 focus. Not with your fear pot. And we have Pentograph, so I take this, yeah? Uh, not great, but also not uh, could be worse. Even say on Doom Strike, don't need Fear Pot yet. Oh, it's dead. Sustain self. We can have Barrage Akabeko again. But this time we don't have like double chill triple glacier, so you cannot preserve this Akabeko for that long. I think upgrade is still on beam cell of uh, by stock, yeah? or the doom. Yeah, doom upgrade is not needed. Beam cell is not needed urgently with the fear portal, but probably still the strongest option to slime boss. If we cannot upgrade by stock, yeah, okay, so be it, whatever. <laughs> I see, it's not actually have one so far. Yeah, it hasn't. At the same time, it doesn't matter. Sleeping Beam only for the Akabeko, but we have Doom and Thunder. Probably just skip. Uh, leader. Yeah, bad leader can happen, eh? but probably not. Yeah, yeah, we have sustain as well, so if the leader low rolls a little bit and we take maybe 15, 20 extra, we can still deal with that. And this is not actually good in Slavers either, like, so if we can be a Kabeko, who cares? I mean, it's good, but it's not... We still take a million damage. <laughs> we still need to wait to draw on your Thunder or Frost Orb or whatever. Yeah, this time I don't have Strength, we just skip. I would Beam Cell. Okay, Doom Top Deck is good. Uh, so Doom first in the boat landing, so they co-headed and then Dark is in front, yeah? And with 63, I think I try to save both potions here. Okay, if we, thunder, if we draw Sunder next time, we can split. 93, 87, 81, 75, that's exactly bad.
No, it does not stop me, though. No? <laughs> oh, that's actually even worse because now I cannot Sunder Bias Cog. <laughs> oh, because I played the extra strike, I cannot play Bias Cog now because it splits. <laughs> and uh, if I play Equi, then I cannot Sunder next turn. Maybe not thundering next turn is not a huge problem because you have a Dark Orb cooking. Cross Orb being shuffle out, but again, 4 focus. This Dark Orb is building up. We have the Bow Landing, Doom and Loom redraw, Dual Cast redraw. It's probably just fine, right? Going right now is a thought as well, but I think that's kind of stupid. 9, 14, 23. So it splits at 60, 64. Alright, 64 thunder is exactly half. Now it's probably stupid. If I take the damage, we are taking 18. We're taking 18 and the next turn we split at what? It's 81, yeah? No vulnerable next turn. And of course I don't potion. So 81, next turn is 14 plus another... Actually, it's not 14, it's 17. 23. So... Uh, wait, 81, 43 splits, that's... Uh... Ah, uh, what? 81 and 14, 17, 23. Split at 58. Dark Orb is going to be 30 damage. So it evokes and easily kill and we have one frost. That's not too bad, honestly. So we think immediately is 64, but we speed up 18. Ah, uh, actually 18 is at one entire turn. It's just like one really want to play Quirded next and not Sunder, but you also have Woodblock. And the Dark is big enough that you don't need the Sunder. Oh, actually it's gold now. It's actually just gold now. 64, yeah. Well, so what? Yeah, like this, yeah? And then this guy's dead. Wow. <laughs> So now I'm gonna take 4 and this fight is easy. I don't know, we cannot die here. Like 4 focus is way too strong with a Dark Orb. But I mean, you know that. <laughs> it's just that like, Witchlight takes less damage, but there's like zero chance to die here. Vision, Oko 1, Hyper Beam, yeah, not Hyper Beam. There's not Sick, not Echo Form, not Buffer. Not Electro. I guess Electro is not that good, but still fine. A small brick, but I guess Vision is... okay. Yeah, out of these... I can see... the Echo Form with Steam Barrier Plus, Beam Cell Plus, Panacea a little bit. I think it's also somewhat in Sneko. Yeah, the Vision is not great until we see more Frost, yeah? Right now with this, like, we can set up by Scorp Panacea early, or we can do Sunder early, but then passive output is like... Yeah, there's nothing happening. Yeah, Wolf 1 doesn't need the upgrade as much. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Holy... Well, we can take Inserter too. We can also take Inserter again with the Panacea by Scott idea with one Frost off. Frozen Call right now says that the dual cast upgrade becomes a lot stronger, yeah? And we can pick up Capacitor, Runic Capacitor and other things. Ah, Fission! Hello, where's Fission? Green? No, no. The thing about greening is that I think this is even stronger, yeah? In the long run. It's not even just the short term, like, even in the very long term, it's stronger. Now, the actual greening uh, green decision here is whether we try to fight this burning elite or not. That's a little bit fishy. Um, no stabbing specifically. The other two, maybe we can do fine. 
Or we can just take the standard safe path and go like here, two fights here, advance all way. But yeah, Blood Vial sustained a little bit, Frozen Core a little bit. Have enough go for Revelix in this shop. And then fire Elite, Elite, fire, and then go here. Trying for Burning Elite in this early on, probably not the best idea because it forces into Dark or Elite immediately afterwards to, and two advanced forwards. So you have to do three Elites in a row, yeah? With Burning Elite at the start. And then afterwards you don't even have safety. You cannot pivot. That is probably too much. Yeah, yeah, first shot, Rudy Capacitor or the normal Capacitor and uh, we are chilling. Oh, block. Oh, block again. I don't actually want to play this or I wouldn't. Damn. I guess we still play by Skog, but that's not uh, super happy times. Yeah, that Panacea doesn't land. Oh yeah, still Beam Cell Doom. Yeah, by Skog, Beam Cell Doom, yeah. Until one, well, we have by Skog. And we block this frail. We are losing one focus per turn, you know, so let's be a bit careful. But this Dark Orb is cooking. Yeah, yeah, do a cast the Seer, so it's dead. But Ras, I come back for Frozen Core. Well, now we are cooking. <laughs> oh, we can take the Turbo because Turbo uh, 3 base energy, Frozen Core, Turbo 2 cost, 2 cost, 2 cost, 2 cost, okay, 3 cost, 2 cost, 0 for 1. The Turbo is quite good. I probably take it. Ancient Potion, not as necessary with the Panacea. And this potion is still strong, so probably not. Yeah, nice turbo. And Ophan can pull it back. Oh, wait. Uh, I shouldn't have even played that. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, need to readjust my headspace yeah, around this frozen core. Definitely should not have even played that. Oh, too late now. So we lose one frost next turn, maybe. Which could be 6 HP. <laughs> but I will still play Beam Cell Ball Landing. Because I need this to go into like standard range. <laughs> yeah, it's actually 6 HP. Yeah, that's actually 6 HP because I play a stupid line. Uh, Doom Strike is not killing, right? Yeah, 4, and unless the lightning hits here, it's not killing. So we probably block port this turn then. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I am actually just dumb. So that's minus one block pot. It blocks zero. Because <laughs> the lightning was uh, actually too good. But here's the dual cast frozen core idea, yeah? And we full block this turn. Okay, fine. The lightning offs are way too good. Yeah, light lightning apparently just like completely owns. But, you know, what can you do? It's fine. If lightning owns, I cannot, uh, I don't have to do anything. I'm change back to 40. Ooh. Wait, insert the comeback. 
Wait, it's not the hello? My photo call sucks. Wait, why did I pick this? I can somebody explain why I picked this uh, relic over the inserter. There's no way I take this boost sequence plus over Glacier, yeah? like zero chance. That's positive. But uh, it also doesn't make us stronger. So what is this now? Zap is like way worse than before. And I thought we have frozen call and just want to keep my frost. So we can remove Zap. Uh, do we need creative AI ideas in Automaton? With Panacea, Bioscope, and Equi, and Frozen Core potential dual cast green with 0 for 1, I hope not. Because it's on sale now, if we go for the double shop part as 0 Elite, or 1 Elite, we go here. Probably not. I should spend gold here though, because we have way too much gold in Turing Act 3, yeah? and I do not want to see events that ask me for gold. Like the cleric right now is removed 150, that's completely a scam. Yeah, yeah, essentially, even this bottle flame is not so bad because you can bottle doom and gloom, and with frozen core, you know for sure the lack of is in front. Yeah, the Akameko doom and gloom and kill Remedy Leader, kill the uh, Retomancer, and the dark is it's always in front. Even with a frozen core, so you can recursion or do a cast it like after. I think 270 go for a bottle of flame, I would say it's slightly fishy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit fishy to be here. Yeah? Or we can also just buy a potion, because potion chance right now is like 40%, but this fight can fail to draw a potion and we work into one elite and maybe two elites in a row. You know, no potions are fine. I don't know which one I would buy at the moment. Fear pot for the elite, but fear pot is for mostly slavers. I guess a little bit boost stopping, and against the leader, yeah, probably power over block. Definitely over skill, but yeah, probably power over block if anything. <laughs> so power potion remove. Uh, 78 and we have 76 gold left and 76 is exactly bad for cleric uh we do see a fight though so even if i spend more gold and recursion we still can see cleric yeah? impatience is not exactly doing anything here and yeah uh, claw you know ah so it's not very easy to throw gold away yeah to in a sensible way they can literally throw a go away, of course, by buying potion, removing it, and shut down the cleric, but that's just dumb. Yeah, I think I just remove I yeah, remove Zap also because we can see like bites with blood bio. Even with only three tries, still fine. And Zap is way worse now with the frozen core. So remove Zap, buy power potion, buy recursion, and leave the shop, probably. Love that, thank you for the sub and 11 months, special lot. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to repair or um, algorithm, no? And at the moment, it's pretty heavy to carry. Yeah. Also, we low roll go here like 10 or 11, and Clary cannot show up. Uh, Monka? Yeah, nice recursion. Excellent. Amazing. No what if I on turn one. I can just play open one strike. Uh I can also open power potion now if I'm worried. Because yes, maybe I should be a little bit worried in this fight. But my thunder can be lit. And I cannot use fear pot here. Point chance 40%. 
Now, if this side goes wrong, we cannot fight elites, then we have second shop here, but I have already spent my gold. So that's not a good outcome. Oh, that's fine. Uh, with Echo Form, then I guess we can just play Glacier then. And not the Oath one. 14 Sunder is still killing, but sometimes we don't draw Sunder. Sometimes I can kill this manually and then Sunder this with that war. Okay, Sunder so immediately vulnerable though, but it's fine. Okay, it's not doing the bad pattern. Oh man. So that's the what fourth fight in the row, yeah? Where my score is drawn before Panacea. So are we are we doing this again? Uh, last time Echo Force bought the deck every single fight. This uh, this run like every single fight this is coming before. Oh what's going on? I mean I don't need to play it. Two turns from now can get ugly if I don't play it though. If I play it, then it's Turbo by Skog or uh, Doom. Which I guess is fine. You can knock the next vulnerable with this. Like 2, yeah, 2 is fine. This is the fight with a free echo form, yeah? I'm just saying. And it's still like mainly under control. Point chance 50, low draw gold, meteor strike, uh, only Sneko. Well, not only Sneko, but mostly only Sneko. <laughs> we can turbo into it sometimes in the upward recursion or dual cast. First upgrade is probably the dual cast in this moment. I can see recursion as well, but I think dual cast is stronger with the frozen core. And we do have a turbo to play this with Equi. Mostly a brick though, then we have to commit to two elites with potentially a curse in the deck, you yeah? uh, know? But also Pentograp sustain can rest on fire. I think I do take it, it's just a little bit dangerous. It's definitely pretty dangerous. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six upgrades. Can remove a card to make a uh, bias call, whatever line up more often, yeah. But defense upgrade are pretty good too. The defense are right now deeps. They all block nine. <laughs> we actually have four deeps and not four defense. If we do a cast. I can see avoiding turbo over recursion, but we still committed to elites. Stabbing and now no potion. Oh man. Supposedly 50% yeah, is actually higher to draw it in a good order. Because you can draw it on the same hand. But uh, apparently impossible. Which is bad by the way, it's really bad. Because Meteor Strike Beast and also Bias Cog is not being played for Psycho. Playing Bias Cog immediately is really really bad here also with no damage in. A nice boot? Oh yes. Uh, one of the two tricks on the leaderboard is mine. Under the name Chego. Oh yeah, Brutal, not super interesting. At least for me. Uh, 
Oh, that's bad. That's bad. But I don't think I'm allowed to place by Scott yet. Like, we probably need to block this for 6 or 7 turns. So we just Glacier's try, yeah? Do you name profile name? No, you can name whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, so I guess it's a separate profile name. Like, you don't even need the profile name. You can change your name whenever you get a new score. Yeah, if he pot is not quite now, we'll just play first try. Well, Echo Form would be good here. If we get a Power Potion into Echo Form, it would be good now. At least we full block exactly because of Smooth Stone Frozen Core, so we don't get a good. And we have try and Defense Green. Also, Dual Cast is uh, going in. But that's not very good. <laughs> But like beam cell, no doom and gloom. Okay. Uh, I should turbo and play this now, yeah? Oh, next one will hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, equi, beam cell, doom and gloom, defend. I can save this on next turn to block, but I don't think so. In fact, actually, I should maybe should save to defend. Take this three. Next turn is 35 and turn after was even uglier. So we take a lot here. Next turn is 42, yeah? And it's not uh, anywhere in here dead yet, but we can still face tank this into another turn. Twenty nine damage. Well, we need to kill it in two now, or we die. But uh, at least this is somewhat promising. We can die next turn. Well, we have exactly two without potion. <laughs> but you can see, uh, we did need to block two cycles, and the new room was late, so I. Don't know, maybe my score will still be positive HP, but it looks uh, pretty fishy. Because it could have also redrawn my score early as well. And Doom and Room can come maybe slightly earlier. Or later. So I don't know. I mean, we're not dead now, but yeah, next fight is uh, fishy. And yes, of course, now after we fight the book, we get our Thorns Potion. Here's a Blizzard with our Frozen Core. Blizzard plus. We are frozen call dual cast plus idea into automaton. Into next fight is either slippers or leader, so it's an AOE fight. Going chance right now is 40%. We can go here, see buys apparitions. Outer would be a force curse. Uh 27 HP into this is pretty dangerous. But you know, it's fine. What can you do? Do the bracelet. Yeah, it works here and here. I think I key still though. Because if we make it to the fire, we should be somewhat safe. I can rest. That was probably the worst fight of the two. We do full lock on turn one, but we are weakened. And we block a lot though. <laughs> we don't even need to turbo defend to full block this, yeah? I think I will use Thorn Spot though. Here's 34 lock exact. 36 actually. We only face 29. Thunder, but we are unfortunately weakened. So it does not kill. It kills with the uh, Thorns, but yeah, we have already taken damage. And the Vulnerable. How big is Thunder? It's 40, so it's 44, right? Yeah, 44, so exactly kill here, but we are facing... This is 10. So we are facing 11, and next time we are Vaughn. But still, not doing this is, like, not getting anywhere, yeah? So I have to do this. 45. Oh, wait, wait, I'm taking 9 more because, yeah... Ah, okay, we are probably dead then. 
<laughs> yeah, we are probably just dead this turn then. Yeah, yeah, I'm just dead. I'm actually just dead. But yeah, that's a terrible book fight, yeah? And, well, I guess the... Drawder was not good and I cannot read this, apparently. I was thinking that we do better against the elites, but uh, maybe the move stopping this draw order is not acceptable, and the bias cock and panacea never lines up. Could probably play bias cock in the move stopping is should save maybe 10 HP or so, but again being weakened on turn one two, so we cannot sunder turn two kill is awful. Will it risky two elites with two potions? We did have good potions, yeah, in uh, two potions by this point. And 40% 40 potion chance. I mean, of course we died, so we, something is not good, but I don't think carrying the meteor strike around is not uh, is that bad. Because this fight could have been like, very free as well. This could have given us uh, good things. I know Frozen Core is fine. The Frozen Core actually saved a lot of HP still. Inserter wouldn't even do anything. But uh, maybe just play the fight bad. Yeah, maybe I just play the fights, man. Good content? I don't know. Is this good content? I mean, the hard run that we die to, like... Uh, the hard run where I die to... The uh, 72, some 15, yeah, it's good content. But this one, I don't know. It's just it's weird, like, I play act 1 and I just die. <laughs> we walk into 2 elite with 4 HP potion and we just die in 2 floors. So, uh, I don't know. Well, if I pick the Meteor Shrine, maybe I'm actually meant to go here, but it's fishy. If I don't take Meteor Shrine and go here, sometimes we have full HP and then I don't have payoff. So this is just the... Uh, honestly, though, I would say. This is just goes back to not swapping. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely... This is the actual analysis of this run. What happened is this one entirely, yeah? Like, most of them is because it did not swap. Because uh, if I swap, I would not even need to greet like these kind of things. Or I don't even think about them. Like Meteor Strike, just skip. And we have like what? Inserter, for energy, maybe Panacea by a scorp. Because the early shop still happens and we still buy Panacea. And Act 2, we maybe have for energy, we are a lot stronger. I will say the draw order is like, absolutely awful though, in these elites and also the advanced hallway is not very good either, yeah. But it just goes back to like 100 go being like no neo bonus. And I mean I know that, but I don't want to play with swaps too much. Yeah? Nowadays. If I feel like playing swap, I would play swap, but I play swap too much recently. I guess, like, this fight, for example, if I don't potion, how is it? Hey guys, analyzing my loss is my job. I mean, I know you're new here, so you haven't heard this speech before. <laughs> but you guys have no clue, because if you know, if you actually know how I lose, yeah? You may, maybe would win more than 10% of your runs. <laughs> or 20, or whatever no, your number is. So analyzing my losses is my job. Because you guys have no idea. But this one, I, I would say that something really bad happened, but I cannot really pinpoint what exactly at the moment. I will see. Anonymous, hang over the 5 meter subs. <laughs> yeah, like all the, the expert analysts, uh, it comes out everywhere, every single time. But something is unclear. <laughs> Toxic? signal, I'm just uh, speaking the, uh, the truth. I mean, you also know that. <laughs> but just. Yes. Return, I have the mod. I have a run resumer. I definitely recommend this mod if you're on PC. Hey, if I don't potion here, then what is it? Because this fight is scary as hell. We have bottom deck Sunder, yeah? And the Panacea also doesn't line up. It can vulnerable turn 2. Uh, I'm definitely not allowed to play Glacier here if I don't potion. So we have to do something like this open Glacier Sunder kill. Yeah, with how the draw the work out, we would have been able to save potion, I think. But only because it draws under turn 2. 
But even then, I don't know. It was just fishy as hell. And potion gen is 40%. This potion is inconsistent also. And we can... Yeah, walk into... Lead those level wood draw the even the book with wood draw the still fine. And we are freaking I guess the argument to against potions of course we have full HP, but full HP can go away very quickly as you can see in two fights. <laughs> yeah, full HP goes extremely fast, yeah. If I do this I don't think I'm playing the Doom and Gloom without the Echo Form. Is that yellow? Yeah, this is, isn't this a fishy as hell? And that is with decent, very good draw order so far. Yeah? I mean, fights are nowhere near over, and we are losing focus. And that is with Thunder drawn turn 2. Because Thunder can also be drawn turn 4, and then we just like die. So I don't know, I don't think. Not. I don't think potioning here is like wrong. Okay, whatever. Don't need to think too much. Uh, common relic. That was fine. For two shots, possible. We can go. Uh, four lead path is a uh, four lead path. One fire only, though, and four six lead. And I am forced to go to the shop. Yeah? Maybe it's okay. Was four? Nah, I have lost. Uh, I have lost more runs than most people play, so don't worry. But lost uh, doesn't doesn't impact me unless I do something like completely stupid. <laughs> it was probably pretty stupid, but it's not stupid enough to make me upset. <laughs> I did. Cross focus, interesting. Remove compile driver, charge battery. We are fighting Guardian. Happy power the charge battery becomes slightly worse. Um, compile driver has become slightly better with the flower and the guided. We do have maybe not problems. As I was removing, yeah, sure. Oh. Let's we'll still play an attack. Oh, we're blocking this one, I mean. No, actually, double defense full block and dual cast and kill. One two should be very easy. I don't want to pick this barrage, but uh, I know it's a bad idea in this spot, so I probably shouldn't. I come back with with frozen core option, short term power. It's not guaranteed though, because once again, turn one is empty. Yeah? And then turn two, you cannot save the Akabeko for it either, because you must play a lot of other attacks. Like you play um, your Doom, you play your Thunder. Sometimes your turn one over block, so you are, if you want to save Akabeko, you're throwing away like eight or nine damage or something to other cards. So it's also kind of, it's kind of like a blizzard in the way, but not AoE. When you get it away early, but Rasmus are not here, I don't think. But uh, usually, maybe your deck has, if you exchange these two, yeah, for all cast, specifically maybe the Chio. Like Chio for me is the biggest tail for early, but Rasmus. Like you need more of this. 
Because uh, if you draw into it right now, it's just dealing like 7 damage or something on average. I know it cannot do 7, yeah, but on average it deals around 7. <laughs> and I don't want to add a strike. <laughs> okay, it's talking about this local. I do not even know who that is, so you're asking the wrong person. I do not read newspaper. I do not even care about like what is happening <laughs> in my own city. <laughs> Unless my apartment is on fire, I don't care. So you're definitely asking the wrong person. Oh yeah, here we probably just skip. Ah, uh, about here is fine. Does the effect own or not? I mean, I don't need to... to try to make the effect own. I can just try here. Because new card draw is already needed, so... Good. Bow lightning versus consume... Yeah, I'll take bow lightning. Oh, they have a diffract added. Oh, they have a diffract plus added. And maybe this allows me to do 4 leads. Uh, flower and tool will be good here, but we don't have it. Am I allowed to play quoted or not? It's like the fact zap is clear, yeah? But the third card can I be compiled quoted? I guess I can do defect quoted first in case of draw more lightning so we get 7 damage. Otherwise, the passive is 10, so it's like 10, 10. We can use this potion. 30. Uh, more lightning would deal. 17 47 47 71 so the turn after it dies it dies on turn 4 uh if we play the compound it doesn't die on turn 3 okay so i should just play quite and block them for this turn. Sometimes it doesn't die next turn though, but not super often. I do not block the vault one. Yeah, he dies now. Claw plus, so now we are talking. Uh, I'm in a must win situation now, yeah? Like we, we are forced to win this run now. <laughs> because I have picked up Auto Shield, so we, we must win. Loss is a... Uh, yeah, we cannot lose now. I have to show next turn. Because it's defect plus, it does wake up. And that's fine. Auto shield defense full block perfect, yeah. And I mean, there's a reason this card's 100% win rate. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So do I try to kill here or do I try to block second cycle? Was well, killing lies defense up strike. We deal 20, 26. It's a 62. Okay, we can kill. In 9 damage. But uh, yeah, that's not too difficult to get. So 0 damage taken, yeah? Hologram, yeah, hologram auto shield super combo. 
But this hologram will skip, so probably still take hologram. Still have some problem against the knob. But not always. And we have a Vazra too. Is it that next turn? We'll cast 20, so... 25, 35... We are one damage off. It's still positive even if we don't kill though, but we always have a kill with the potion. Ah, one damage. We have exactly two. Claws back. There's a second claw. We uh, could have had two claws by now. Amplify the effect is possible with hologram. Not super consistent with on power. Oh, we can just take rainbow. Rainbow is a good draw on turn one with the anchor. Uh, three frost, three of ties with compound rival and second frost. With the defrag, we have a lot of output. And yeah, we actually farm the force elite, yeah? I think we can avoid the shock for a greedy shock next two. So let's go left. Life loss in here, we can take two. Okay, not that kind of life loss. <laughs> Second one is way worse, so I don't think I take. Okay, not that. I want the six though. And this, I don't buy. One of six. Yep, good event. A bit annoying, but auto shield is probably fine. And killing here is good too. Himself plus. Lightning is perfectly uh, evenly distributed at the moment, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> Probably still fine, because we are very healthy and uh, this time we have flower energy. And we can kill one. The fight does not... Mm, well, actually, maybe the fight does not that long. Maybe it doesn't. Because that in front, so Zap evoke, no cast evoke. Yeah, let's see if you do this. Yeah, this should be better. Next on kill perfect, yeah? With flower on 2 and this on 9. Now on 8. Scheme versus loop. We can upgrade whatever we pick here. The current upgrade target is zero, it's nothing. Scheme with flower, but also loop. Multicast with flower as well. Uh, we can auto defrag, which I will. With the uh, anchor as well, very good. With auto defrag, the scheme is not actually super needed, yeah? Maybe just take the loop, upgrade it, and then add more frost. Probably. More fight. I don't even know whether playing that loop is correct or not. It probably isn't. That's okay. Oh yeah, loop auto shields. Not exactly the strongest combo. Second compound driver, double energy is quite good though. 
But now we're the uh, compete with the upgrade. You don't need to loop up with that urgently, but with the defect is quite good. Ah, uh, maybe this is good enough. It's fine. Yeah, I don't want to think too much. If this one wins, you're great. If it doesn't win, uh, also great. Frost, which of course conflicts with auto shield, but that's fine. Now we have the loop dark into hollow dual cast if it wants. Kind of do one then. Can um, just not play any more attack from here, maybe. Yeah, it works. We have two nine. Our search electro sick with both of the refract, the value of sick goes down slightly and value of electro goes up. Our deck has no AoE. Our search is green and is a strong panic target, 16 damage, but probably not. Yeah, probably Electro was sick right in this spot. Off a Dripper, no sustain but anchor. Oh, surely Dripper is free, right? Yeah, surely Dripper is free. And where target right now is cool headed or hollow or Electro, probably not hollow. So it's only cool headed Electro for now. Uh, here into here into fire elite elite again. Or we can do this shop and do this elite. Um, I can do fire into burn elite sometimes, and this can still go for here or here. There is a three elite path, but the three elite path is pretty dangerous. And no matter what, I start here and then evolve it again. But most likely, it's this shop. Take one, next one it dies. It's green. No potion. Not exactly super amazing output. Yeah, let's go shop now. Not a lot of frost, yeah? Second go for as possible co snap plus a definitely attack. 0 for 1 is here again. We have beam cell only. I guess beam cell go for, but yeah, not good enough. Slightly better with the pendant, but uh, we don't have active draw. Dooming Loom plus a shoot attack. Consume is here too. If we do capacitor, we can do that. But I think we do capacitor with our consume. This I can take. Second go for also green for energy though hologram on time and we are fighting automaton so it's not very good. Thank you for another good to stop the MZ rebel. Yeah this one we could have had like four claws or whatever so far. Oh was the last one I don't remember. Yeah recursion not needed, bow lightning plus yeah I don't want. We just skip. 
Can Tex can go for into O for one here too, but I don't think it's a good thing. Escape. So what else do we have? Here's the barrage now, and barrage now with one strength capacitor, and the deck has a lot more ops. We cannot barrage and remove though. Uh, we can barrage and the potion point chance right now is fifty percent, and the elite is maybe three fights away or maybe two fights away. If anything, I think I buy a potion, but not the barrage. And let's do attack pot. One time, 19 minutes. So the next floor we see buy plus, yeah. Currently taking eight. Uh we can potion to hope to not take eight, but potion is to deal like 20 something damage. Auto geo sucks. Wait, ankle sucks. Ankle is actually minus one here. Ankle sucks. Ow. Hologram auto shield also synergy like crazy here that we have. This electro is doing something good. This guy is getting greedy. And we can punish him when it kills our pandip into the elite, maybe. That's just fine. Every get, uh, yeah, still good. That's dagger plus. Now well, dagger plus, I guess I take, but we probably don't fight for the elite then. Here's a scheme to go with every gate. Here's a Sunder plus. Here's a Barrage plus. Here's some um, algorithm recycle. Machine learning is also here. I probably take scheme now that I have every gate and the flower. The attack, so uh, I don't like that. Point chance now is 50%, yeah? so I can open attack potion to hope for more orbs so this compile to draw. We are currently taking 7. Okay, not that. <laughs> Scrape is drawing into nothing good. It's only the beam cell. I don't know, I believe blocks like 5 here. Yeah? It's just that afterwards... Uh, honestly, afterwards not even that bad. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's actually fine. Do you have minus one focus? Not even zero. And she doesn't have any strength. Attack again. But this time auto shield can do some work. Wrong order. So fine. Ow. So perfect already set up here, but I guess I don't care. Reprogram. <laughs> yeah, not really. Second beam cell, also not really. Recycle, also no. Redstone right now doesn't hit anything good. Uh, because all the later upgrades attacks are weighted. Oh, it's the not hit strike though, it's not too bad. Yeah, actually did not hit any strike. No, seriously, like you have to not do this, yeah. This is kind of why I was thinking this card is bad for like more than a year or something it's just because of this but like, you can you can be drawn in other turns <laughs> you can be drawn in other turns but so 
Because we have Reaper, no sustain here, so we, we can just die inside the egg as well. Can I evoke this frost ever, yeah? We can evoke frost next turn. Ow. And yeah, Hollow Auto Shield once again, Mega Synergy. Ripper sucks. So no loops, I can advance this to 1-5 at least. I mean, yeah, fear pot nice and all, but uh, it's probably time to take a smoke bomb, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's probably time to take a smoke bomb, guys. Capacity is maybe needed for the automatons, so I keep it around. Come on, well, yeah, of course it's good. We are dying here. And maybe if I see my plus the uh, next floor, then we don't need to smoke. Yeah, my plus right here. Not quite. <laughs> also, no cell repair. Couple of liters and we'll drop some in 24 months. Fish alone. A cost challenge achieved. Who to satisfy to? Yeah, I don't know. In three years from now is a long time. If it even happens. <laughs> Guys, think a little bit. Like, the game is not going to be replacing Spire from day one. It's going to suck. Okay, maybe it does, it's not going to suck, yeah? But it's not going to be that good. So, like, don't uh, blow your expectations to the heavens, otherwise you're going to be disappointed. Like, quite disappointed next year. <laughs> like, uh, have reasonable expectations, please. A glacier is good. I say we still take. This is on sale. On sale with Aggregate Plus, yeah, also should take. We have smoke bomb. If we go here first, sometimes we are forced to smoke this. And then the elite, it's bad, but we see the question mark before. We know it's not lead though, unfortunately. Uh, I guess here we can farm dagger maybe and get your pedip in order to kill slavers. Those encounters again. I swear to god, yeah, like. Can you stop doing this, please? <laughs> How many times have we drawn this on turn 1 in this act so far? <laughs> Can somebody tell me, please? And uh, this fight is looking like maybe a smoke bomb and then we have to dodge this a little bit. Unless the question mark gives us something great. Because like, nothing good is happening here. We are floating a lot of energy. And I don't even think I'm doing casting, yeah, because uh, Electro can be drawn later and, and such. Cause my pattern. Wow. Oh, I don't want the smoke bomb, guys. I really don't want the smoke bomb, but like, what the hell? <laughs> farm dagger? Yeah, farm dagger, you say. So how do we farm dagger? Like, this is just not going to work, yeah, I'm telling you. This is just not going to work with this draw order. I like, just not. Even though maybe there's a chance next time we actually full block. I have to pay 2 HP immediately to even see that. Because I guess I played Rainbow Defend. And as one, you want to double defend. I actually don't do that. Because if you actually want to try to win the fight, I have to play Rainbow right now. I played Rainbow. Okay, double lining hits here, good start. Uh, awful pattern, also good start. But we can still do it because the Gremlin Horn props here. 
Okay, is going, yeah? So it just dies. And we can Glacier and full block this. So, no, no, no. The problem with smoke bombing here is that you no longer have a smoke bomb for this fight. And that is the scary thing. Or you don't have a smoke bomb for this fight. So I want to stay. And the... Uh, the price is only 1 HP. In order to stay, I must play Rainbow. So this full blocks and can loop here maybe. This will force a kill next turn if I do anything. So do you want flower on one or on two? Because on one turn one anchor, so it's actually floating energy pretty often. Let's do flower on one, right? So what would that be? Hollow go for is three, which is killing. Yeah, no matter what it dies next turn. So hollow go for doesn't even do anything meaningful. We just play strike. By not one minus one plus one days. Chill your yeah, chill attack. We diffract bottle as well. Do we need a recursion for the automaton? I mean, I hope not. And even if we do, I cannot take it now. And here's my plus. Okay, it's kind of like my plus. <laughs> No outer? No, you can. You can smoke the outer by taking the curse. <laughs> uh, we don't need to play outer shield here, yeah? But, I mean, I can. Ah, this fight is easy. It's free. I turn shield plus? Uh, no, only in this fight. Otherwise, I want shield on turn 1 with my defect bottle. Uh, one is better, yeah? so we have on it. Hologram, another one, max ritual dagger, and every get stronger, make auto shield worse though. But the loop here is definitely not good. I think our plan is actually just uh, placing the force against the automaton, yeah? But we have the smoke bombs I can try for this now. Yeah, pretty good flow. Like, proper rig setup, plus 5 damage on dagger, no HP loss. And maybe a new card. <laughs> yeah, of course, the other choice is dead. I think I go left. I think I go left. But we keep these two paws, I think. Okay, slavers, maybe a fight we can deal with. Only maybe. But here's the beam cell into 33, yeah, it's dead. Okay, not bad. Yeah, again, the auto shields, love you. Don't care about electro damage here, so I think I do a cast now. So maybe I'll open up a dagger kill next turn. Okay. No dagger kill, but there's a beam cell. And beam cell should kill here, right? Because everything is green, so its attack is 11. Oh, right, effect on, so we take 0. <laughs> effect is broken. Carry this turn to be ideal, and we can. So hollow beam cell into dagger again and it's dead. Dagger right now is 30, so 33, just yes, little. And one net. Once again, they have one net. 34 actually. I don't even know whether that's good or not, but I take it. Yeah? Okay, this time we. Is it time that we die? 
I hope that it's not time that we die. Because I am thinking of... Um... I'm thinking of uh, tossing smoke bomb for the focus spot. <laughs> and we have one more fight to go. Oh, is it? Because I have echo form now, I can say that I don't need capacity anymore. We can echo form capacitor, we can echo form loop, and then we don't need off slots in the automaton fight. So I can toss away the uh, off slot and keep smoke bomb for freaking safety. Beam cell, yeah, beam cell. And also, sometimes you want to compile driver turn one, and then it leads to the. Uh, I draw a pen or do my gloom after or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep smoke bomb. <laughs> okay. I can hollow go for now in case it does the thing next turn. If we draw dagger, dagger 70 damage and doesn't even instant kill. Um Smoking for 10, huh? <laughs> I mean it's less than 10, it's for 7. Echo of sucks, Echo of sucks. Smoking for 7. But 7 we go to 19 and we can still have uh, 5 dagger damage and better relics. Uh, I don't think I smoke bomb here. We just take this hit. Ow. And yeah, singing bow as well as a maybe plus two. Okay, so now the smoke bomb can go, yeah? <laughs> now the smoke bomb can go. If we don't... I don't... Well, I hope. And we do not need to keep this around for Act 3. And here's the Entropic Brew too. Uh, this plus two. You can take streamline, but also no reason to. You can take force field, but also no reason to. Let's take plus two. Should rest? Yeah, I agree. I should rest. I wait capacitor. I wait coordinate. I wait scheme. Holograms not needed. Uh, in this point, I don't think capacitor upgrade is necessary, so I should have withdraw. Especially with Evergate Plus and the uh, Flower. What an over scheme, right? Even with the Hologram Evergate thing, it's probably still good over scheme. Might need to focus spot here, but we'll see. Ah! Might not. <laughs> I mean, bottling uh, Echo Form is strong and bottling Defrag, yeah, but I'm not like complaining too much. And we have this anyway. So, yeah, chill play now. Building Electro on the left and one of these on the right. Yeah, not bad damage at all. Yeah. Place your uh, well, safe keys, my thing. That's not bad. I got would kill here and then we can place your, uh, but not even good. I mean, I don't actually care about playing Electro. <laughs> it's fine. This is a pretty chill. You can shuffle this out. 
to actually ship on artifact because otherwise they go for abysses. Electro is in the reshuffle, but doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Fine too. And Hyper Beam is next turn, but uh, we are fine. His loops are lightning are yeah, also fine. They have more than enough block. Even with that. How do I want to do this? What is the full block? I can weaken it right now, yeah, but that's not for the full block. So I can hollow maybe Maybe just aggregate glaze here. That's probably just every place here. Yeah, this full block. On power so we can play this. It's only 40 to never attack damage here, yeah? it's even quicker. So now go next turn. It will kill it. Next time we don't roll dagger and there's a one of six, so let's not. Six versus by cock. Uh motto defect so we cannot really get more than two focus unless we have the potion, but yeah, no time to find artifact anymore. And six is good. <laughs> Sick Ritual Dagger, Sick Echo Form, Sick Abigate Scheme, very very fast turns. Well, you want Frozen Core, here's Frozen Core. Um, I probably take the back though. Yeah, yeah, this definitely is a bug. You can take the key as well, but yeah, no free passing, Abigate Plus. After Echo Form, we don't need energy as much. And yes, we have been forced to play with the curse here. As a four lead part, still no sustain. I think I do early shop. It's good cripple attack like four shop, but at the same time, if we survive, it's actually clean. I don't think we care. Yeah, because I, even these fights are not so easy, you know, without a cell repair. I anchor. Doesn't really, at some point doesn't block enough anymore. Yeah. Unfortunately, if we get uh, the sick is minus, and Rainbow Defend here is taking three, so I cannot just aggregate and play the Echo Form. You can, however, get the Glacier and do Capacitor Glacier Rainbow of some order. Uh, maybe just do that. It's Loop Frost. Okay, that goes here. There's no way to keep my nip though. Uh, maybe I don't care. It's green. I mean, if it's green, I have to take. That was against Kursky and... Um, what was it? Frozen Core, yeah. Well, I guess we should have taken Frozen Core. <laughs> but I did not believe. 
Oh, this part is still scary though, like with the Reaper. If you don't have Reaper, this run is already done, yeah, I'm telling you. If this relic is something different, like another energy relic, this run is probably already won. And because it's Reaper, we can still die. Yeah, if I have a capacitor head gold, yes, I would. But I don't have gold. Question mark for sensory stone uh, into bandage up or what? Or we can go farm fights for maybe singing bow, maybe more cross, more draw. We do not get the upgrade stick until after the burning elite. It's kind of spooky. Red mask now is free too. This can also be taken, yeah, by the way. <laughs> Probably not. Perfect mask HP. Ekoform sucks. Taking zero here is good. But I hope that we get to actually play Richard Decker. Okay, good. Uh with the deck developing like this, maybe flower on one now is more uh, flower on two now is more acceptable, yeah. You can get on one again if you want. Like one eight. But yeah, with the uh, sick and the compound and the echo form in the deck now, maybe on turn one you can play something. Even with the anchor um, yeah, even with the anchor and the bottle defract. If you want to do it on one, you just play the strike and end turn. Maybe. Uh, on two, I mean. Oh, wait, I have blue. <laughs> well, never mind then. So much for that. Turbo Plus, we probably take over the th third compound. Attack Potion can open this. And see what is uh, underneath. Because this potion can do okay against Retomancer with Gremlin Horn. Uh, and we do want to preserve focus pop back for maybe. So, unless you see Potion Bell, this is going to be empty slot, yeah? Potion Bell we saw last run, not this run. So still possible, but not mm, very likely. Colorless. Uh, Colorless is unreliable. And there's nothing to even store for. So I probably take attack. The shop was the last one. I remember there was a membership card potion bell in the shop somewhere, but is it this one or is this the last one? I have no idea. Fifty five. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that goes pretty good. And kill this turn and kill next turn, both are fine. If it attacks me this turn and I don't draw enough block, then I guess we kill next turn, so flower on two. Cannot attack it because uh, loop sucks, otherwise auto shield would cover full block. Why are they all green? <laughs> I mean this one's still good, yeah, but I think I stopped. This is the last one I take. <laughs> but I still take it. <laughs> Why are they all green? Yeah, giant head should not be a problem. I hope. Especially when you perform turn one. Also, I said, <laughs> because if we double this, here we take 12. And these are doing nothing, so we skip. Ah. 
But apparently our deck does not have enough frost here. Yeah? Even though I added, uh, I don't even know how many frost cards right now. Ow. Yeah, amazing back. Should be fine from now, yeah, but taking 7 with top deck king echo form is uh, pretty offensive. Yeah, let's put it that way. It's pretty freaking offensive. You need a dagger, yeah? This actually kills, but it messed up my penny for like no reason, except convenience. Let's not be too lazy and go around. I can kill now. And I think I will. Eight or nine. With uh, several compound drivers and also... Yeah, three compound drivers and also a beam cell... Probably still it. Dreamcatcher, yes. Oh, finally. I mean, I did say this, that would be the last one, so this one, of course, we don't take here. Yeah? It's not even green. <laughs> and here, we can take plus two with ruins of perfect max HP, though. But the uh, old one's not good enough, and the second turbo is not needed. Uh, more elites? Sure. Can we call now? Can I upgrade? Yeah, okay, I'm with sick. Of course, I'm with sick. Hopefully, you don't die next turn. Okay, we are not dead next turn. <laughs> Good. Echo Turbo? I probably turbo now. Still have more compound, so I think I leave the lightning around. Or if I were here, now we are hopefully blocking enough. Don't need to double loop here, so I will double this. Okay, good. This lightning can mess up ritual dagger sometimes, but not that likely. Because you can just hollow dagger next turn, for example, and that works. Uh huh. Well, if we don't draw hologram, it's different. <laughs> Hmm, that's pretty annoying now because this lightning will kill it at some point. And we know that hologram, second hologram is not going to land with Decker, yeah? So with a 50% chance that we can't land the Decker. Roughly 50. How big is Decker right now? 65, so we don't need vulnerable kill. Okay, good. So, flower on zero, yeah, slightly annoying, but sure. Mamori would it be nice if it's earlier so we can take the right so heal 15 
Yeah, yeah, plus two. Don't need the capacitor. Running capacitor and the real capacitor is, is in our deck. Next floor is four decks. We don't need count this. Uh, four decks is front loop block. I like front loop block. Now, that is a very sad story, but we have to key. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 powers. Hmm. Yeah, pretty sad story, but you know, what can you do? Uh, Monka? Now, I hope the Gremlin Horn is good enough for this, yeah? Because I am playing Echo Form. Yeah, my fan, my fan head will be good this turn. Oh, do we die or not? Hopefully not. Ah, we don't die. Easy. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, stupid right the so. Compound driver, another one. All plus two. Plus two is pretty good. Yeah, plus two is pretty good. Okay, okay, I can do that again here. This time uh, it's not set up though. Uh, taking a lot of damage at the moment. No way we get. And I don't think I'm actually playing this uh, Electro, yeah? So we just play what? Defract Rainbow. And take six. Hopefully we don't die. Okay, we don't die. <laughs> oh man, this freaking dagger. Yeah, is dagger good? I don't know. You tell me. Dagger is okay. So that's two fights in a row now, yeah? That exists so freaking life here. Capacitor does not need to be played, so I won't play it. And the six now is eighty one now. Seventy six maybe is too weak, but uh, now it's eighty one with Vazra. Taking two, or oh, we can just kill and yeah, only really kill. And seizing top. Double energy and seizing top every kid. Turbo plus. Maybe blue candle, I don't know. But this attack. Upgrade pod, uh, yeah, not the best. Probably not. So we care about fire. Fire right now is upgrading skim. Upgrading double energy, maybe. A puzzler doesn't need. Be green. I'm really scheme with just one extra 5 for dagger, 5 damage. But dagger is 80, so 90, 100. 100 pandip is already more than big enough for the spear and shield, yeah? Not pandip is not big enough, but we have other things to do as well. Oh no, top can work here. Top actually can work here. Base energy is only for... Honestly, yeah, the upgrading double energy and scheme is probably quite strong, especially now with the top. Let's go here and upgrade. I think this upgrade goes first. And we can upgrade scheme and act for with... Uh, nothing new. Yeah, I like this. I really like this, yeah? You tell me top is not good or what? <laughs> no, seriously guys, you tell me top is not good in this deck. Because I think this turn is okay, you know, with the top. Yeah, yeah I think I think it's like okay. Yeah, I am spinning. We still have one hologram for this dagger next turn. Flower is on zero, but yeah, nobody cares. So we can do it on zero and nine. Yeah, nine is fine with six now, maybe. F, wait, what? 
Wait, why does stream go down one? Oh, OBS told me that I drop a... Uh, 900 frames. <laughs> oh, that was totally random, I don't know. How does that even happen? Yeah, yeah, we uh, just kill now, yeah. Ah, finally some sustain. <laughs> a bit late, but you know, it's still fine. Full heals at black 4. Second go with the eyes. Don't need. Uh, plus 2 is plus 2. I like plus 2. 4 next with just 2 skills. 4 next is better front load block for speed and shield. If anything, but skill can be draw, can be energy, can be ops. You know something? Oh, actually it is. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, how do you know? That window is actually telling me to update. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, is this side a problem or not? I mean, I don't need to play Echo Form at all, yeah? So maybe it's just once. Hopefully that's not stupid. <laughs> Okay, stopping time. You can make it stop or you can turbo and continue, but turbo can take a lot of damage. Let's just stop. Take four. But yeah, now it's okay. Ascender's Bane still in here. Yeah, this is fine, yeah? We'll block and we just wait until we redraw to dagger, penny on 9. I think with the top now we can do flower on um, flower on 2. I mean, eventually it will happen. It doesn't happen this turn. We have on hologram. I just draw hollow next turn and everything's easy. Oh, that good. Attack potion will still still have to be stronger, right? So did we actually use like one potion in this act and in this entire act and the potion saved zero? <laughs> Effectively, we skip the boss right leg, yeah? But uh, it's fine, we'll play deck 4. If it doesn't play deck 4, it means we have won the run, so we don't really care. But it will probably play deck 4. Probably. Holy, auto shield is back. 182, interesting. Uh, I should still play this. Don't think I want to top now, though. Act 4, we have full heal, yeah? Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> uh, maybe a potion now. Yeah, just, just hang on a second, please. Double Reinforce is uh, just single Reinforce, so we are being scammed here. Or we can take Hologram, but Double Hollow doesn't even do anything meaningful. I guess we can kill the Cultist. Double Hollow and then strike the thing, but we take like 40 something in the progress. In the process. Double Reinforce, putting two Reinforce in with block 28 only, yeah? So we are facing 18. Uh, yeah, maybe it's still fine. Wow. 
a bad pattern and also a bad draws. It will take a lot here. Don't need Echo Fall in this fight, so I just don't play it. See, it'll take a lot though. <laughs> even even when it's weakened like this. It should start soon, but it's still it's still happening yeah, for this turn. It should be all the damage we take, but suddenly now the second fight is scary. Also, I said we're taking another <laughs> another four <laughs> because apparently this is the fight we bought to deck all our frost orbs, yeah. But actually, all of them we bought to deck all the frost orbs. So we're kind of getting owned here. I mean, as long as we don't die, we do not need to use spot. But suddenly now, second fight is only half HP. Um, it's a bit spooky. Yeah, definitely a bit spooky. Next time is not even guaranteed full block yet. Yeah, it's 28, but it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Loop is positive. Capacitor is not. One, seven, fourteen. Okay, let me don't take this damage, so I turbo. Don't want to loop dark. I want to loop frost. Just stop this turn. I see we nine and with the red, which a lot. Hardly getting old by working one a little bit here. Oh wait, we actually don't have Inserter. <laughs> Guys, I have to admit the entire time I thought we have Inserter. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the new Ocelot, but it never comes. <laughs> so it's fine, we can play this, it's positive. Yeah, then we can play the Capacitor, it's positive. Oh yeah, just play all powers then. They're all positive. No, not Electro, but every other power is positive. 1, 2, 3, 8, 60. So yeah, next Defract we play, we can E to E. Get a Dark Orb in. MD2, 1, 2, 3, 7, exactly it's MD2, yeah? So we don't need to play any block at all. Yeah, exactly 72 MD2 block. Uh, yeah, keeping this fine. Exhausting this fine too. We can't even top this turn, but we have two reinforced bodies, so it's not even that strong. It's only 66 now, so we can get rid of one. Actually, it's only... Oh, this is only 60... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 64, so we are two block short from... Okay, I guess we just rotate all of these around then. But sometimes I take two damage here if the order is really, really bad. I would not like that. I just rotate all these around and build one more Dark Orb. 
I just I don't have loop on the thing next turn now. But it's fine. Unless it's not fine, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so now I just play Loom and Loom and build up um, slowly again, yeah. He won this on 9. Maybe on 8. Uh, 8 doesn't work though, because 8 is still... We cannot really apply vulnerable against no nuts either. So trying to one-shot with Richard Echo does not happen. Maybe just on 9 because it goes back faster than... On 8 is allowing Echo Form turn 1 into Dagger, double turn 2 against the uh, Donuts. 270. 185. So there is 1 out. On 9 is also the same though, because on 9, yeah, Echo Form turn 1 and then double Dagger turn 2 is also still 285. Yeah, on 9 is better. So we do 2 9 probably with this. I should have been too. shouldn't be too difficult. We should go around. Yeah, I should go around. Otherwise, they're evoking this take way too long. You cannot even play compound drivers. And usually, you cannot do a cast this either, yeah? from now maybe we need to do a cast this though single cast not enough oh okay just keep waiting because if i do good it now it's fully committal and don't want that so wait three more turns maybe E, yeah, e. Uh, we can do this on 9. Uh, we can do this on 1 if we want. 1 9 here immediately. Unless we're going to draw into exactly void where even then we don't take damage. Blocking afterwards would be fairly difficult, but this single cast is not even killing. So it's flower on 2 that important. I think Pandemic is fairly important, you know, maybe Flower is not. Well, let's just go. Only 4 is slightly dangerous for second fight, whatever that is. Ah. Now we can do that. I can also... Defract Coast Snap. Mm. I lose two focus, so I gain one force off though. I think I just reached Echo here immediately. Yeah. It's big enough to one shot the uh, Act for already even without plus five. And this damage is very significant. Taking it. Yeah, because now I suddenly can kill this with a multi neck attacks. And the fight is over immediately. And that's really cool. I like the fight being over immediately. And we set this up to 9 again, so I play 1 Doom and Gloom. And that's good enough. Or we can go around. 
But yeah, we never take damage anymore. I may do go around. Can we go around another time? But maybe this is fine. Because uh, this side we can even loop the dark off. It doesn't hit hard enough for us to take any damage ever. Our lightning also doesn't kill this mm, too quickly. And your code is coming soon. The looping lightning for like one or two turns doesn't kill it. So I can do a cast this now to loot the dark. I'm just wait, yeah. So we want to. Uh... Yeah, what do we want? Like one or two. On the flower, because I guess on one turn two we have the burn, so it's not effective. And if possible, we want to control immediately on turn one, like chaining draw. Yeah, two should be stronger. Yeah, two should be stronger. Ah, uh, this kill. So let's just kill. And eternal feather does mean that we can full heal in the fire. I wait on scheme or say can go ahead. Mm. Now probably scheme. Yeah, now probably scheme. Well, I guess we take that. Uh, potion. Oh, exactly enough gold. Like 229. Meant to be, guys. I was thinking we can actually buy this, but we can. So, bottle of secret or bottle of dagger, right? Yeah, bottle of secret or uh, not bottle, but mirror. Mirror of secret or mirror dagger here. I think. Yeah, probably. And I can buy this over this. And my hit sinks too, but this is just better. Yeah, exactly. And now fight is done. Because it one shot this immediately. Can do this first before seeking. Uh, of course, it makes the chill worse, yeah, but I don't think we care. Maybe it's still every kid. Okay, stopping time. Oh, easy fine. Now we have 8 focus in the heart. Uh, if we bought the next old frost in the heart fight and die first cycle, then we lose. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. But we have 8 focus, front load with both of the effects, so it's 10. So we just need to draw some frost and we're chilling. Oh, this actually kills it. Um, I guess next turn is guaranteed dead, so we have 2 9, yeah? Uh, 2 8. Oh, we can do 2-9. Not like it matters too much. For search, we do not have Bioscock. 
uh, fusion with the compound drivers and capacitor and runic capacitor is quite strong. Also, yeah, draw six is way too good, so we toss away four focus. <laughs> okay, we are fine, guys. Relax. <laughs> we are fine. I see, yeah. We're topping. Ow. Oh, that's basically the run. Like, with this draw, we, we win immediately, of course. So yeah, I mean, we did pay for the 6, so it's not as if it's like just 1, no? we have 2. And we still have this potion unspent. Oh yeah, it's like very easy for now. I can draw 6 now, but I want to double this defrag for no reason. So I will. I will just do that. In order to do that, I cannot play Doom and Gloom. Because sometimes I top into it right now. Yeah, why did I double defrag? I have no idea. I don't know and it doesn't matter. <laughs> so once again, yeah, pick out the shields win. I uh, yeah, see the pattern. I don't know whether you see the pattern or not, but I do. So bomb saved the run. We did not actually smoke at all, but uh, it did allow us to go for the slightly more aggressive elite, which is singing bow. But yeah, singing bow did not end up mattering. I just safety is good, yeah? and I know that I am safe uh, to run into like any fight with a smoke bomb. Not too bad. Well, I'll stream 6 hours and go uh, two backwards. That's how we like to do it. <laughs> there we go, yes. Yeah, it's like once every couple of days, they just lose a run, yeah? And win a lot, but also once in a while, I lose a run and we go back to zero. <laughs> Man, tricking is like... <laughs> If you if you actually uh, look at the progress day by day, it's actually pretty slightly depressing, but it's okay. Improve side restricting started from rotating started from when I played rotating, yes, for sure. At least uh, the effect gameplay is stronger, yeah? If you are asking about this specific stretch of games, then no, it's weaker than. It's definitely weaker than rotating stretch. The effect gameplay wise. But not by much, and in the difficult runs, it's still kind of redeemer, so it's fine. As I'm for rating for sure, I can mean you can show stats. Like, duration of rotating is from um, November? 
I guess actually no, November 19th or maybe December and then the end is around maybe March it's only 70 yeah it's actually only 79 not that high <laughs> I mean stable 79 percent so that's good if we go back a little bit maybe three months wow plus 1.5 percent guys amazing <laughs> But yes, I am playing slightly better from starting from the rooted thing. The version thing will prompt some treatment, especially a lot. So just for this specific stretch of games, then it's around here. So yeah, you can see here, uh, like playing a uh, spewy streak. <laughs> we red dropped by five percent, <laughs> but when when the streak is high, you can still play proper runs. But the strict starter definitely is like way weaker. That's not bad. Yeah, this one's probably played like pretty badly somewhere, but it's not super obvious. But I just I just see this one and I know something has gone wrong, yeah. Starting from Moskwa for sure, but something else also has gone very wrong in these floors. <laughs> Ring playing was a bit? No, 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 no. Uh, rotating is exactly when the effect is at its best. Like 50 runs of rotating for all characters, and the effect was. Uh, actually, 51 runs. And the effect was 44 and 7. Ah, yeah, during the streaking is slightly worse, but it's expected. Because when you can see, like, when streak is like 0 or 1 or whatever, I just play 1 hour. Unless the run is interesting. If the run's really interesting, it's something unique, or it's difficult immediately for Mac 1, I would play properly. And otherwise, I just run just click through, and sometimes I die. I still, like, the difference is not that big. I mean, I already talked about this several times because people ask me how would my win rate be like if I play like one hour runs or something <laughs> basically how I play off stream like brain off brain off just click and then if my instincts are wrong I die roughly the same maybe 5% worse you can see yeah? it's around 5% worse I will say that the fast runs I play when streaking no? are worse than my off stream runs so this is actual low quality gameplay sometimes. Like when I play off stream, I play properly, it's still good because I am thinking. This one I think. Like this one, this one I was thinking and I just lost. But a lot of the earlier runs in the streak, like these kind of things, two sub two hours or whatever, mostly are just brain off completely. And the majority of the run is just talking, explaining my choices and such. But the decisions are made in, I don't know, like two seconds. <laughs> I see a screen, I already know what I do. And I don't even double check. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Like, I think this is how it should be. Because if you are. Uh, if you try to streak and you go ultra serious all the time. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty easy to get burned out. Because even if you are trying to play at your absolute best, at some point you will still lose. And then let's say you build up, um, like you try your hardest maybe two weeks and you get uh, 10 or 12 streak or whatever. And now the next one the game gives you some absolute nonsense you die. It takes you another 10 weeks to play that many kind of runs and sometimes you don't win them all. So it takes a long time. But yeah, spewing earlier runs and then playing properly when it actually matters is probably the way to go. At least I think so. So hopefully when the time comes, I do deliver. Yeah, because so far the 14th trick, for example, at least I definitely deliver. <laughs> I mean, we die. Yeah, I mean, the run did die. But, uh... I am happy with this run. With how I play. So far, not too bad. Tier list, tier list is already done, yeah. 
Okay, let's get out of here. It went away perfectly and quickly. I mean, I'm working on it. <laughs> I've tried. I mean, yeah, at some point, your instinct would be strong enough that um, that the the number of runs you need to re-evaluate your choices is going to be smaller, smaller, and smaller. They will always be there, but yes, at some point, you cut the number down. We die middle of act two. Probably did something very dumb, but I need to actually watch the run back to know if I even put the time in. <laughs> if I put the time in to rewatch the board, I probably will see some very stupid things. But uh, that one just feels like, extremely wrong to me somehow. Even though I cannot really tell you exactly what went wrong, you know? like, everything feels off. Okay, thanks for watching us, as always, and see you.